Okay, hello, hello. <laughs> I think we are live. Uh, give me a second. Okay, it says we're live. Let me put in all messages. Here we are. Um, okay, we're, we're obviously going to be watching, uh, what's it called? Sonic for Hire today and the IDW. And I think there was one more. I keep forgetting this third one that we were supposed to do. But anyways, uh, we'll definitely be doing those two. That is for sure. I got the notification. We should be good to go. I'll try not to talk so much because uh, I was kind of late, so my bad about that. Um, okay, Tim, I see, I see you in Discord. Okay, having fun stream. Got a game night today. Sounds good. Sounds good, Tim. Enjoy. I actually just started stream. Okay, there we go. But enjoy, Tim. Okay, I, 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 I understand. I understand. Game night is fun. Not that I've ever done that, I think, but it, it is. It is definitely fun. I know that for sure. Hello, KR. I see. I see you on Discord too. Love. I don't know if you're messaging. Oh, you. Okay, people are here. <laughs> I should probably look at the YouTube chat. Okay. Uh, hi, yo, yo, sup. Uh, grabbing on some pizza. Okay. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, KR. Hello, Zach. Hello, Cheese, and hello, Sean. Uh, and Cheese, I am. It's fitting. It's fitting. Definitely fitting for your name that you're getting pizza because it, there's definitely quite a bit of cheese on pizza, and I love pizza. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to see you here, Kr. I know it's it's definitely been a while. I feel like it's been forever, but I'm happy to see you, Kr. I am definitely happy to see you back and thriving. <laughs> uh, but hello, I, I see your message on Discord as well. Um, let me see here. Okay, yeah, and yeah, Zach also wanted me to watch something. Live stream suggestions. Bro overcooked the food was his uh, was his message. <laughs> so I have absolutely no idea what the hell's gonna happen. But uh, let me just uh, put that here. Okay, well, no, 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 don't play, don't play. Okay, there we go. Who is this by? Hold up, give me a sec. Games cage. Okay. Games Cage, Wisp on my D, I, I, oh my god, he made a song. There's no way this guy actually made a song. There's no way this guy actually made a song. No way. Ain't no way. Did he actually, hey, hold on, give me a second, give me a second, man. Give me a sec. We'll, we'll listen to this. We'll listen to this. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. Hey, girl, hello, Kirby. Welcome. How are you doing? How's everybody? I am good, KR. How are you? I hope you are doing very well as well. Uh, can't be here for too long. Well, Zach, bro, we're gonna watch the video you sent me, so just just watch that at least. <laughs> watch that with us. Uh, but I, I understand you can't be here. I, I got I got you. I got you. Uh, naturally. All right, I'm gonna start swinging out the gate now. <laughs> okay. Cheese definitely has some suggestions for today. I uh, played a Battlegrounds game 1v14. I solo. Did you win? <laughs> or, or how does that work? <laughs> uh, the blazing development of Blaze the Cat. It, who is that supposed to be by? It's a joke song. Okay. Bro, cooked the food that we ain't even ordered. Okay. Okay. I see. Okay. I'll add Cheese's first suggestion, which is also by Games Cage. So he is getting two videos right off the bat and now oh i'll also add sonic for hire myself because well we obviously are gonna continue to watch that series i think we're on season four is it season four sonic for hire i think it's season four and then idw i have no idea what number one i think 13 i'm just gonna write the idw sonic 13 there we go there we go okay we got that i soloed 1v14 yes did you win though <laughs> Did, did you win Zach or what happened uh, it's been all right recently don't really know what to feel to be honest well I hope this stream helps it make a little bit better KR I hope I hope this uh the stream can make you a bit more happier at least s4 KR is gonna love it okay okay yeah, yeah, he's gonna love season four yes he will KR you you will enjoy Sonic for Hire don't worry KR <laughs> uh, I could I cooked 14 players calling me the cooker the way I cook her okay just dropping bars now, huh, Zach? Uh, but uh, yeah. Also, I, I hope you noticed the 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 title of this live stream, Kr. <laughs> Tails might be the goat? Question mark. I mean, hey, he, he might be. He might be. I'm just saying. 
that is just the title that I put for today. Uh, let me see here. Okay, who's typed in general? Oh, Sean just sending this the, the Joker. Okay, <laughs> the Joker gif. Okay, well let's get into the song. Uh, things aren't too good for me at the moment, but I'm happy for the stream. Well, I'm sorry about that, Sean. Things will get better very soon don't you worry but i am happy and glad that you are here a part of this stream and uh, yeah maybe it will make things just a bit better uh tails is the goat i mean he could be <laughs> he, he could be he could be i'm not saying he isn't he could be oh no nah, season four uh where'd that little title come from g honestly i don't even know i there's nothing to i wasn't I, there's nothing i just it just popped up in my mind i'm like you know what kr hasn't joined the live stream in a while so how should i lure him back <laughs> to watch the live stream make the title about tails and that's and look kr is here kr is right here so that that is why that is the title uh but anyway I, there's nothing else that really popped up in my mind <laughs> i just want to write that title and, and that's that uh i'll figure out music over time i think sounds good cheese gur kr pointing a gun at you or something Hey, I, I, I can't, I can't say. I, <laughs> uh, no, no, totally not. To to please, please don't. Uh, totally not. I am fine. Don't worry. I am safe. Uh, there's nothing wrong. I, I, there's, there's, there's nobody here. There's nobody here with a gun. I'm fine. I'm safe. Don't, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Uh, he could be the goat. Exactly. I, I definitely agree with you, Kirby. I definitely agree with you. He could be the goat. Uh, I'm going to trap Tails in a, hyper, <laughs> hyper, a hyperbolic time chamber so he gets stronger. Honestly, that would, yeah, that would that would be that would be pretty damn sick. Uh, walks to the camera. Lol. No, 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 no. There's there's nobody here. Don't worry. <laughs> there's nobody. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll watch this video. We'll watch this video because. Uh, I think Zach has to dip pretty soon, probably. Hopefully, you can stay Zach, but I'll watch this video quickly for you, so I don't keep wasting your time. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, where was I? Where was I? Okay. Also, cheese. Did you send me one recommendation, or did you did you send me two? Because you sent some other message, but I didn't understand the blazing development of Blaze the Cat. Is that is that a suggestion, cheese, or? Or, or like, yeah, because it doesn't say who's the video by. It was two, okay. The blazing development of Blaze the Cat. Do you know which, who the person was who made that video? Uh, it is one? It is, wait, what? It was two? It was, it is one. Wait, I'm, is, it's all by Games Cage, I think is what you're saying? Is, is that, is that what you're saying, or? Is, is that what, is that, is that what's going on? Okay, we'll figure it out. Don't worry. We'll, well, let me put chat on the phone. Give me a second. Um. Okay. All messages. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's watch this uh, games. Oh no. Yeah, games cage actually song. So I don't know it's uh, how it's going to sound. Obviously, and I had no idea this was even a thing. So uh, thank you for bringing this to my attention. Uh, it was two suggestions. The one you read was one of them. Yes, but I, I, I know that cheese. <laughs> One was by Games Cage that you sent me, which was the Dragon Ball Chain Sonic Forever by Games Cage. And then the second one was the blazing development of Blaze the Cat. Do you, do you know who, which channel? Okay, there we go. Okay, it's by Alder. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I got you. I got you. Uh, by the way, about the Battlegrounds game I played, Shadow is too OP that whoever used Shadow got disqualified. Well... If that doesn't um, state my case of Shadow being the GOAT, I don't know what will. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Even though the title, I know what the title is of the stream, but I, I'm just saying, that's a question mark. The title is a question mark. Shadow is the GOAT. Like, the, there's nothing more to it. <laughs> uh, was, the, was he right? Knuckles versus... Was he right? Okay, we'll watch that as well, Kirby. Uh, let's quickly listen to this song because... Uh, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm expecting some wild stuff to be said, like completely wild, like completely. So I am ready. I am definitely, there, okay, there's, I don't know, there's, okay, we'll see, let's, let's see what happens in this song, but let's go. Three, two, 
One. Whisper my dick. Cooking. Whisper Yo. my dick. Oh my Cooking. Whisper my Yo. dick. Cooking. Whisper my dick. <laughs> Cooking. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you see, I'm on a top of girl resort with your baddie drilling. She got him them shorts. She got me looking, yeah. Rah. Top of the world like supersonic. Turn my ops into bots like Doc Robotnik. Yeah. Is this with plot thick? The way I be streaming on Twitch, you think I got a tick? Okay. Okay. Yeah, my flow's so sick, Sonic's so quick. You better hit a devious lick. <laughs> okay. Lick. Okay. Yeah. Killing this sub like John Wick. Amy to with sticks. Getting blazed in my rouge fit. Okay. Mm. Take a tail while it's dim lit. My knuckles, I'll take you down with one hit. Dim lit, dim lit, dim lit. Yeah. Maria getting shot. Maria. <laughs> Maria getting shot. Oh my god. I know how much this guy just loves that. It just loves that scene. We've watched this guy's what it was it what was it, one of the videos like on for for the new movie the moon the Sonic Three that's coming out with Shadow and everything, uh, obviously he is really stating that he wants Maria to get shot. He is really he's putting that out there. He wants her dead. He wants her dead in that damn movie. He wants to see some blood and he wants to see that bullet getting shot right into her. I don't even know where it hit her, but let's just say it hit her in the head or something like that, bro. This he he wants her dead. He wants her gone. <laughs> he does not like he does not like Maria at all. Anyways, let's let him cook. Let's let him cook. Let's let's let him cook. Maria getting shot. Maria bow, bow, bow. getting shot. I said Maria yeah. getting shot. It's just Maria bow, bow. getting shot. My mama, 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 Maria get shot, 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 shot. Okay. Sh sh yeah. It's part of the plot. Shot a crying lot. Black doom like you. You gotta be out top of the clock. Yeah. Oh, what y'all swearing me? Saying pussy and buyer. You think they a bot? Okay. Bop, bop. Metal Sonic fucks on top. A yeah. cat dog. I'm attached to this froggy on your back. No shots. <laughs> Fundamentally, I'm gonna go back to elementary. Learn one plus one, so I can give you two seconds to run from this gun. Is your soldiers? Help. Yeah. Maria getting shot. Bro. Maria Bow. getting shot. I okay. said Maria's Bow. getting shot. Maria shot. getting shot. 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 shot, shot, shot. Bow. Whisper Bow. my dick. Oh my god. Cooking. Whisper Just my dick. dick. Cooking, whisper my dick. Cooking, whisper my dick. Oh my god. Cooking. Yo, call me a rapper. Oh. The way I'm a tapper. Woo! Huh? Yeah. What did you say? <laughs> <Bro. laughs> we did it, Chad. Let's go. Woo! Okay, then. Okay, then. Yeah, th he he wants Maria gone, bro. That That's just. That was just. The chorus, Maria getting shot. That's that's the, that's the chorus. That's just the chorus. That's the main part of that song. <laughs> Everything else was just a verse. It, it, the main part of that song, the main message that you have to get out of that song, is Maria is getting shot. That is that is that. <laughs> that is the, it may be the title as well, Whisper on be on my D, but uh, opposed to that, yeah. They. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, you know what? I have to give it to him. It wasn't. It honestly wasn't that bad. It honestly wasn't that bad. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I'm not even joking, bro. I'm not even joking. Like that. That was actually pretty solid. That was actually pretty solid. I like the beat. I like the beat. Um, I like the background vocals. I think somebody was in the call with him, uh, or with the, giving them background vocals. And when obviously when Maria's getting shot, he had uh, shotgun sound effects. Pow pow. In the background that, that was pretty good it adds it adds a lot more flavor um his lyrics definitely interesting well, obviously definitely interesting but uh i have to give it to him I, I i have to give it to him that was pretty damn solid that that was pretty damn solid bro i gotta give it to him that was good that was good i liked it i like that
Yeah, everybody's just saying Maria getting shot. Yep, in the in the comments. Yep. <laughs> Oh man, this is what a 24 hour stream does to Fidel. Yeah, I am not doing a 24 hour stream because I don't know what the hell is going to happen in that stream. But that's not happening. It's not <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know what I'm going to do. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I, I have no idea. I have no idea about that one. Oh man, I'm leaving the theater with this one. We killing ourselves with this one. We making it out of the ice ice cage with this one. First song to make one fadillion dollars. Okay. We drowning in uh, Labyrinth Zone with this one. We're making it out Eggman's Interstellar Amusement Park with this one. Okay, everybody's just saying. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got you. Well, thank you for that suggestion, Zach. Uh, that was incredible. That was that was that was incredible. I, I I enjoyed. I fully fully enjoyed that. Mm, give me a second. Okay. Let me let me add Kirby's suggestion as well. Oh. Wish Papa. Okay, I'm not gonna say it. nope. I am not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Okay. Um. Was he right, Knuckles? Okay, there we go. Knuckles versus Tingy. Okay. Uh, and then it was. Can't disagree on that. Wisdom ID is a little. Uh, is a crazy little title. Is a cra I can't even. I can't even read anymore. Is a crazy title, bro. My comment isn't loading. <laughs> Not again, Kr. YouTube, bro. Stop restricting Kr, please. I uh, hope Fidel cooks with this one. I, I would say he cooked. I would say he cooked. I uh, can't wait for this to be on Sonic 3 movie credit scene. <laughs> the fact that I was literally on the stream. I was so confused, bro. Fidel, truly a Fidel moment. Uh, it needs to happen, bro. I'm like Fidel. I'd love to see the scene with Maria. I, I, I'd i back that. I definitely back that. But he is definitely vocal about that. He he wants that. Like, if, if it doesn't happen, he's not watching the movie. Simple as that. <laughs> if it doesn't happen, he's he's taking he's getting his refund. He's getting a refund. Even if you watch the movie, he's still going to get a refund. Uh, speaking of which, Sonic 3 is done filming. I think somebody sent that in the Discord chat as well. But thank you for that uh, update, Sean. Uh, there probably is, is it done filming as in all the scenes are done filmed. But they still will like take a lot of time probably editing all the filming that they did, I'm guessing. And a lot of effects as well. Definitely a lot of effects that will take a lot of time. Uh, Fidel, what is this fam? Uh, this is straight fire put it out he cooked I think the craziest thing I ever heard Fidel say is that someone's very existence was caused by Sonic's extremes cancellation and their parents coping <laughs> oh my god uh, my favorite part was the Maria getting shot I I definitely agree uh, definitely questionable uh, Fatal's been playing games that destroy sanity non-stop lately, so it makes sense. I got you, I got you. Okay, so that's where it came from. Uh, now, wait, Maria is confirmed to be in the movie. Actually, if, if, if she is confirmed, then it's happening. We're actually getting it. Uh, I can imagine a bunch of angry parents getting mad at the Sonic Movie 3 for Maria's scene. Uh, well, they shouldn't be. It's part of the goddamn thing, the timeline. I am guessing, yeah, I'm guessing that they will probably take... A long while to edit and stuff like that girl check discord she is confirmed I got you because she is confirmed uh, general okay bro my comment isn't showing girl listen to this snippet on stream okay let me put uh, the let me put the screen up and we'll, we'll listen to this snippet the actor from Maria literally made jokes about it bro oh okay Okay, well, let me quickly check this. Let's see what this is. I knew for night that I'd be drinking by two, but it's years gone by. Posty is going, he's going country. Posty is going country. But yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it, KR. I am liking it. It is 
it is obviously a whole album, so I don't know how many songs it's going to be, but uh, definitely, definitely going to be interesting. Hope it releases soon. Possibly. I mean, if you said he's releasing two albums this year, he's probably going to release one of them relatively soon, I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, hopefully we get a new posty album sometime very, very soon. I would love to see that happen. Um, where was where were we for the recommendations? Uh, Dragon Ball changed to Sonic forever. Forever. Let us check this out. Games Cage. So we're back with Fidel. And uh, then we'll check out Sonic for Hire. Or actually, you know what? No, actually, yeah. I'll, I want to check out. Yeah, I'll, I'll check out Sonic for Hire Season 4 then. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see this another Fidel. Dragon Ball changed Sonic forever. So let us see. Let us see what this is about. I'm guessing that this is a um, a tribute to to. Oh, I forgot the name. I'm sorry, but I, I the, obviously the person that unfortunately passed away, the one who made Dragon Ball Z, if I'm not wrong. But uh, yeah, I'm guessing that this is a tribute to that person and how Sonic was influenced. And uh, how Dragon Balls uh, also uh, had influence on like the Sonics and stuff like that. Uh, we don't know if he will release two albums this year. Oh, I hope. Okay, I thought. Okay, I thought he did. Okay, I got you, Kr. Uh, Akira Tor Toriyama. 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 I think it was. Uh, he made a video about him separately, so not quite, but it is relevant. Okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah, I think I saw like a tribute video from, I didn't watch it, but I think I saw the title from Fidel. And uh, yeah, it's obviously unfortunate when somebody passes away. Um, all right, I think the screen is up. Is it up? Okay, there we go. Okay, there, let's let's watch this. Drag. Okay, uh, what's what's he gonna say, bro? Look at his face. Look at his face. Okay, what what is Mike Man? Co what's going on right in the brain, bro? What, what is he about to say? Is he gonna say some something really wild? I don't know. We'll see. Well, let's find out. Yo, call me parallel though. I'm parking in your sides. Hey, everybody. What's up? Welcome back okay. to the Game Skates. Today and only today, we are here to talk about, that's right, Dragon Ball and Sonic. All the influences that Dragon Ball gave to our beloved Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, obviously, you all know the unfortunate news that Akira Toriyama has passed. And that just brought up a bunch of conversations online about everything he influenced in other media, right? And I figured today what I would do is, is just bring light to all the things about Sonic that were inspired by Dragon about if not a direct reference but even just the fact that it even exists in sonic is purely due to the massive popularity of dragon ball and of course if you guys want more videos like this please feel free to subscribe support your boy and let me know what are your favorite sonic to dragon ball tropes let's start with the first and foremost obvious one sonic slash goku paralleled characters and discussed a lot amongst each other these two characters are very similar while their overall life value is very different sonic just kind of wants to live in freedom whereas goku wants to become the strongest he wants constant challenge i think besides that these characters are extremely similar in fact the shonen trope that sonic was going for was inspired by the shonen trope that dragon ball created this is the character that smiles in front of all adversity he's the character that still believes in the villain at any point you know they don't just give up on a bad guy and just go for the kill you know they will fight them they will they will live for that competition against them in a lot of ways i feel like obviously see Eggman and Frieza well maybe not similar in scale to how much damage they've done I would still put them in that bubble of just a character that the, the main MC kind of respects even though they you know despise them and they don't like their actions and not even though it's not the correct thing it's something about these characters that has always been extremely similar right and obviously these characters being you know a little dumb but also very cool and always the the most beloved in the room and the one to charm all the characters I just I feel like it is undeniable that some 
Sonic and Goku are so parallel to each other and I really do think that Sonic's personality was very much influenced by Goku. And there's nothing more obvious than that than super forms in Sonic, right? Obviously with Sonic, we are just used to super forms. We don't get a crazy amount of them. In fact, we don't get a crazy amount of them because the developers have often said that they want to avoid the power creep that Dragon Ball has, but it's so obvious that they were inspired from it, from the original artwork of Sonic paralleling Goku's original pose there to stuff like Super Blaze to Super Different Force from, you know, the Black Knight, Sonic form, Excalibur, Sonic, or all the different character forms or Super Knuckles or Super Tails or Hyper Sonic. I feel like the idea of different transformations was 100% a Dragon Ball inspired thing. And in fact, like down to just the color scheme, right? The idea of getting a, coal, a gold color scheme for the character as an inspiration was 100% intentional. And no matter what any developer at Sega says, I mean, and, and to this day, we look forward to the most hype moments in Sonic being supersonic battles, right? And obviously we have incredible moments that Deadass reference Dragon Ball scenes. For example, most notable in the recent game, Sonic Frontiers, Sonic going through Giganto is an exact parallel to the scene of Goku going through Piccolo, or you even have the night fight where Super Trunks cut Frieza in half and you have that same parallel with Sonic cutting Titan in half, or Titan is, yeah, I think it's night, sorry, uh, in half, and it is the rawest thing, but you see these parallels of just the super form being the rawest thing, and always the thing that saves the day, right? And while in Sonic, they don't necessarily give them that many different forms, it typically stays to Super Sonic, it's still such an obvious big love letter to Dragon Ball, and always has been. And of course, one of my favorite parallels being the Dragon Balls and the Chaos Emeralds. Now, granted, these two serve very different purposes right with the with the dragon balls they're scattered across the earth and they are able to grant you wishes but with the super or with the chaos emeralds they're just kind of a power up ability obviously they've got a lot more lore to them they each have their unique attributes apparently according to even superstars recently but the idea is there right that it is seven collectibles that ultimately are there to aid the hero right and while they they did a good job of differentiating it because you don't need the dragon balls to turn super in dragon ball you do need the these emeralds to turn super and sonic it is still such an obvious influence by dragon ball next up we got to talk about the character similarities right we talked about sonic a little bit but this is all over the place i feel like the most notable ones we'd have to talk about are one shadow obviously shadow is meant to be the vegeta of the series right they are characters that are meant to be the sort of not and would you call them an anti-hero rival to the main mc and while again their motivations are very different vegeta's ultimate goal is to defeat Kakarot shadows and motivations are different but come on they are the same idea it's the it's the attitude character that is also raw as hell that always maybe doesn't get the win at the end of the day but has a bit of an evil side but is still fighting for humanity at the end of the day and, and their similarities have always been so cool to me and you could you could never go without thinking damn like these two are just the same thing of course we have our beloved tails who in fact actually recently the uh, character designer for tails came out on Twitter just to talk about and say that the entire idea behind Tails is, is creation identity was to sort of give Sonic and Tails a Piccolo and Gohan relationship, right? You would typically think Tails would be the Bulma of the series in a way of just being the mechanic and the smart one, but they really do compare them more to Gohan. And in fact, if it wasn't for Piccolo and Gohan's relationship existing, maybe we wouldn't have Tails. You know, maybe that, that wouldn't have been a thing at all or Tails would have been a complete different type of character so really Dragon Ball's influence there is another massive one and which is also interesting because when you think of Piccolo you don't really think of Sonic you think of Knuckles right Knuckles is very much the Piccolo of the series you have the stoic character who has a bit of an attitude who serves as a protector of the planet in some sort of ways like they, they these two are also very similar in character styles and it's reflected always so well in the series they've also both fought the main character and through, and how could I even go we talk about character differences between trunks i mean trunks and silver i feel like to me that one has always been the most obvious from the voice direction they gave with silver to the idea of him being from a destroyed future like these two are very 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 similar characters and while i think again sonic team does a good job of giving them different motivations and styles so it's not a direct 
direct copy paste it is very much influenced by in fact they have an old developer was it a leak or an interview where basically they they had bullet points of what silver was supposed to be like and that as one of the bullet points was just saying trunks from dragon ball even when you think of specific attacks from dragon ball that have been influenced in sonic right we talked about some of the titan ones but there's a lot more i mean you could even name the key blast move that he does in sonic frontiers you could even say the stretchy attacks from the werehog are a little bit reminiscent of piccolo you obviously have knuckles move set who has always been influenced by over the top shonen anime even their fight in sonic x is just very much reminiscent of goku versus piccolo from back in the day maybe not as brutal but still you even have one of my favorite dragon ball like moments which is the clash between sonic and blaze in sonic rush which obviously has become iconic in sonic in a lot of ways but even that scene right that is the idea of the character clashing with a mash is always been a staple of dragon ball and has been mega popularized by dragon ball as a whole even the character's auras right toriyama's work with dragon ball influenced character aura so sonic having the blue aura while blaze had the red one and different characters having their own different auras has also been a dragon ball influence in there you could even get to like the smaller details like the emblem that's so iconic to sonic is not even from specifically sonic it's actually from dr slump which is toriyama's original project tails the little helicopter spin is very reminiscent of goku spinning with his tail and again at the time this really wasn't a trope to be found anywhere else so this idea while it could have been random still again feels influenced by that a mega one we found out recently is the original character design this designer and artist behind sonic who i believe is naoto oshima went on a twitter post to say like while sonic's design wasn't directly influenced by dragon ball the only reason they became an artist was because of their love for toriyama's art so who knows man it's one of those things of without toriyama maybe oshima would have never helped design sonic and our character would have looked completely different or maybe not even existent in the way it does today which kind of scares me in a lot of ways a small one that i really love is how these special stages from sonic 3 you know that are around these shape was actually inspired directly yuji naka said this inspired by king kai's planet in dragon ball you guys know how king Pla king kai's planet work it's like a small circle but it feels like a, a flat surface almost with the way it's designed right and that was the inspiration for the hellish design you have for sonic 3 so for that one you can either blame toriyama for that or obviously you know you can say it as a blessing depending on how you love at those special stages i feel like there are a lot more little subtle references and things that were influenced and while like i said sonic isn't necessarily a series that is entirely just a dragon ball copy you can tell a lot of its dna just comes from the joy and hype that dragon ball brought this that's a big reason why sonic fans and dragon ball fans i feel like are always a flip of a coin you know and you're seeing this to this day even with the sonic movies when you have knuckles and sonic fighting and it's got the different auras and they're going back and forth with their punches like this is just all stuff that was started and influenced and over the top by Toriyama's work with Dragon Ball. And I could not see this franchise being what it is today without him. I don't even know if Sonic would be where it is today without stuff like Super Sonic or the hype moments or how he even looks to down to having Tails exist or all or Shadow like I don't know what this franchise would be without Dragon Ball. And that scares me, but it also makes me so much more happier for Toriyama for giving, you know, more life to the series we love. That's gonna be it for me, guys. Let me know what are your favorite sonic to dragon ball like tropes and of course let me know what you love below and of course i'll see you all next time peace out i love you i chase wicks all right uh girl check discord i got you i was busy crossing the border what did i miss uh, nothing really you just missed a games cage video that we were just watching right now which was talking about uh, how dragon ball z changed to sonic forever talking about the influences that uh, dragon ball z had on sonic characters and sonic design in general so nothing too much sean don't worry uh but what, what border did you cross i think you're i think you're in texas you said did you not i think you said you were in texas so i'm guessing you went to mexico i think i don't know <laughs> uh you don't have to say if you don't want to obviously uh let me check out discord because zach told me to okay you said me for real okay okay uh, I see the meme. I'll, I'll, I'll watch it. Hold on. Let me put the screen up. Uh, this will definitely be Fidel's reaction to this. And uh, Okay. Hold on. Let me put the screen up. Uh, Fidel dropped a billboard top, top 100 or hot 100. Uh, you're definitely correct. 
I think he really did. It might go number one. It might really go number one. Maria! <laughs> I think it pretty much a lot of people would be like that in the movies uh, if uh, that actually does happen. But uh, but yeah, you missed that. No, I think Sean was here when, uh, and I think Sean was here when we were listening to the to the song cheese. Uh, let's look at Mega Man Sonic in Smash Bros. Yeah, I was in Mexico. Okay, I got you. I got you. Not by choice, had to deal with stuff. Oh, I, okay, I got you. I got you, Sean. I got you. Well, hopefully it's, uh, yeah, hopefully it's not too bad or anything like that. Um, let me add your suggestion. I hope that happens in my theater. Oh, my God. Uh, did you eat at Tacos Goku? What, what, what the hell? <laughs> Uh, I love tacos, honestly. Ta tacos are so good. Hola. Hello, Andrea. Hello. Welcome. How are you doing? How are you doing, Andrea? I'm done with that stuff. No worries. I got you, Sean. I got you. Hello, Andrea. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome, Andrea. It is nice to see you. Um, where were we? Oh yeah, Sonic for Hire. Yeah, Sonic for Hire season four is up next. Everybody's favorite a series. I, I I enjoy the series. I enjoy it. Look what I got: Sonic the Hedgehog Lego playset. Okay, and oh, that is what he's was talking about. Okay, okay, tacos, go Goku. Okay, okay, okay. Where is this? Is this? Is this in Mexico? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually saw on Discord. Is is that actually in, in Mexico or? That's that's sick. That's cool. Let's see the talk talk. Yeah, I think that's in a different language, if I'm not mistaken, because I don't understand. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand the words. So I'm guessing it's in it's in another language. Um, it's, it's a big meme that Mexico loves Dragon Ball Z. Oh, hello, Andrea. Hello, Andrea. It ain't even a joke. It's a real place. So much so that the cartel takes two days off when a new episode drops. What the hell? What in the world? Yep. That Lego will take me a while to build. It, yeah, it take, might take. This is the Lego set that... KR is talking about. Yeah, that might take that might uh, that might take a little bit of time, not too long. Maybe this the the Eggman's machine might, but everything else seems pretty simple for the most part. I feel like not bad, not bad. Wait, uh huh? There is seven, almost seventy-seven thousand. Yeah, never mind, seventy-seven thousand pieces. You have fun, mate. You you have fun. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Child me would have killed for that sound Sonic Lego they got. Yeah, I mean that, that that is that is pretty sick. That is pretty nice. I like it. I do like me like me like. Uh, hello amigos, Espero está bien. I think he said hello guys. I am good. Is that, that is that is that what he said, Sean? I think I think that's what Andrea said. Hello friends. I hope or not not uh, hello friends. I am good, I think. I am doing good. Damn KR, good luck, yeah. I got a brick head Sonic. What, brick head Sonic? What the heck is a brick head Sonic? Thought it was ugly at first, but it grew on me. <laughs> I got you. Okay, well, next up is Sonic for Higher Season 4. So let us see. Let's see. Okay, I hope you are good. Yeah, okay. I am good, Andrea. Thank you. I hope you are good as well. I hope you are good, Andrea. I am I am fine. I am I am good. Me gusta. Is that I think that's Spanish, right? Me gusta? Is that is that Spanish? Alright, well we're gonna watch another interesting show. 
or an, an interesting video for Sonic for Hire season four. I forgot what the hell even happened in the last one. I'll I'll try to remember. I think I think it was the one where Tails blew up the building and then Sonic lost everything and is back home with his poster but is injured. So we'll see what happens now. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's Spanish. Okay, I got you. I got <laughs> uh, bro, I think there's like eight bags of Legos here. Oh, God. Well, that is definitely going to be a project, KR. It'll be fun, but uh, might take some time. Uh, but let's watch this video. Let's. I'm excited for this. Let's see. Hey Knuckles. Hey, get the fuck out of here! Look, I, I came to apologize. And I was hoping you'd find in your heart to give me a second chance. I'm still scrubbing hedgehog jizz off the deep fryers! And what's with the nice guy act? You better not be trying to weasel your way into my fortunes and my moped! Not at all. The days of me being a heartless asshole are over. I've turned over a new leaf. Uh, I don't know if you're ready to start frying and buying, but you actually seem sincere, so I'll start you on the drive through window. Don't make me regret this. I won't, I promise. And I definitely won't smoke crack in the bathroom. Okay, good. First it- Wait, what? Why did you bring up smoking crack? <laughs> no, what? It's nothing. I started smoking crack for a little while, but I already kicked it. Okay, I guess. Uh, well, here's your first customer. Don't fuck it up. Welcome to burger time where it's always beef o'clock. Can I take your order? Yeah, let me get two burgers and, uh... <laughs> look at this fucking loser. What's up, you loser, asshole loser? Oh, hello, Tails. It looks like you're doing great and not dead after exploding all my money and ruining my life. Fuck yeah, loser. Blowing up all your stupid cash blew up my bank account, bitch. You're looking at the star of the biggest iPhone game in history. It's called... Let me guess. Blowing up. Cash explosion, fucking moron. Well, really, Tails. That's... That, that's... That's great to hear. Can I take your order? What? Yeah, give me two burgers and a large vanilla shake, shit for dick. Sure thing, Tails. Here you go. That'll be $8. And really, Tails, it was good seeing you. Yeah, it's good being me. Eat shit, loser. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 where are you going? Your shift just started. Well, I'm definitely not going to smoke crack in the bathroom and then burn this place down with my crack pipe. Well, at least I still got my moped. This should buy me some great crack! Look at this piece of shit game! Watch your mouth! Atari's the only console you've got left! Word has it you fucked up every other game you've touched! You're on the ragged edge, private! Watch out! What the hell is that? I think a bird just shit on me. These alien bastards are relentless! They're like butterfly kisses from your mom. You try telling that to Sully, or Mac, or O'Shaughnessy! Fuck this. Later, dork. I'm gonna go get another job in some other shitty game. Hello, mister. Will you help me build a phone so my alien friend can- Yeah, whatever, nerd. But first, why don't you grab mommy's purse for your Uncle Sonic, okay? Sure, I just- ah! What's up, dog shit? I figured I'd find you slumming it here. What the fuck, asshole? That little shit was about to- That- He was a- That little shit, he was about to score me some cash! <laughs> oh, that's so pathetic. I'd love to stick around, but I got a hot date with one Drew Barrymore. All right, I gotta go. Be more hates it when I'm late. But uh, hey, do you want to ride to Elliot's mom's house? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, let me just find this stupid alien and get the fuck out of here. Oh, there you are. Hurry up and get in the basket, weirdo. Phone home. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I got something that'll fly us all the way back home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> We're flying. This feels so good. Yeah! Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Shit. Uh, things cannot get worse. Sonic! I can't believe it's you! Let's celebrate! I got a condom full of wine up my ass. One sec. Hold on, let me get that out. Oh, bullshit! I call total bullshit on that one. Star Wars was absolutely based off of space balls. I can't, I can't even believe I'm in this argument. I am so glad we broke out of that jail cell so I don't have to be around you anymore. Give me one shred of evidence that Star Wars came out before space the balls. The years! Take a look at a calendar. Oh, okay. I can't, oh, let me get a calendar. Oh, I'll get an old calendar. Oh, look, I'm born in 1812. Now, that proves nothing. Shut up! I hate I you. Will, I, I hate you. Excuse me. What? We're kind of in the middle of something. Whoa. 
I think we're at Comic-Con. No, no, feel that sexual tension? I think this is just a standard medieval orgy. Cool, I'll get the ass wine. What? We're about to fight this foul demon. Oh shit, I love Monsters, Inc. Yeah, let's watch that. I'll get the ass wine. You've delayed this battle long enough. Join us or face the same fate as this beast. No, <laughs> what the fuck was that? At least jump on him or Thunderhead, show him how to use an axe. <laughs> hey, yeah, let's go, Billy Crystal. Let's see you make kids laugh now, fucker. Uh, you can't attack him. It's not your turn. Turn? This is a fight. Throw dirt in his eyes or shoot him in the back. You ever see Taken with Liam Neeson? That's how you fight. These battles take preparation and strategy. Only then can you master... Holy, Holy shit. shit! Clearly you are superior warriors from another land. Come stay with us. You will forever live like kings and... What the fuck, man? We were gonna live like kings! Yeah, there wasn't gonna be enough ass wine for everybody, so, you know... I made an executive decision. I don't want your goddamn ass wine. Fine, more for me then. Come on, let's go. I'm living at your place now. Couple ground rules. Number one, I sleep in the nude. Number two, I refuse to use toilet paper. And number three, I'm the big spoon. Oh. This place is a dump. Change the poster. Uh, you got a salad bowl like I can soak my feet in? Oh, we should order some food. Hey, fuckface, this isn't a vacation. We have to figure out a way to make some money fast. Wait, I got it. You ever see that movie Lionheart? Twice this morning. Well, a couple of badasses I met in jail told me about this underground fighting ring. It's just like that Van Damme movie, Bloodsport. All we gotta do is bet on me to win, and we'll be soaking our feet like fucking royalty. Whatever. Not it for fighting Chung Lee. Badasses in jail told you about this place? Did I say badasses? I meant pedophiles. Prison does things to a man. You guys looking for a money fight? Ten Grand says my guy here can take anyone you got. Hey, Freak Show, you got a challenger. No oh, shit, Sonequa! That's my daughter, Sonequa! Sonequa? We've been calling her batshit crazy guacamole nightmare. Thunderhead, sidebar. Don't let that baby get up fool you. That dog is a tough motherfucker. Just do the thing where you throw the things in the air and the thing comes and blows the fire and we'll be home free. You know, technically, that dragon thing isn't even my thing. I don't give a thing. Just do it. Piece of thing. What's, uh, what's going on with your face? I don't know. I think it's a seizure. I should probably get that checked out. Oh, I'm about to do you doggy style. Oh, that was terrible. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, no! no! Oh, it looks like your boy lost. Time to pay the piper. Yeah, about that. I don't really have the money, so... Bat shit crazy guacamole nightmare. Show Sonic here what we do to deadbeats. <laughs> There's daddy's little psychopath. I missed you. Come on, let's go home. Avocado! No, the killer dog is gonna stay behind. I think he found a new friend anyway. <laughs> you are a friendly dog. <laughs> I like you too, eh? Uh, you're looking at the life of a superstar. Separating myself from that blue dickwad was the best thing that ever happened to me. In fact, I got a meeting about the sequel to Cash Explosion. We're gonna call it Space Cash Explosion. So Tails, Space Cash Explosion, right? We got big things planned for this sequel. Yes! Like perfect! I fucking love it! Great, great. So we'll get you in the studio right away and then we'll- Oh wait, were you talking to me? I was just listening to my motivational audiobook, Tails Tells Tales About How Fucking Awesome Tails Is. Oh, I was just saying that the new Cash Explosion game is gonna yeah, be- Yeah, whatever, fuck you. Just make sure the dump truck of money is at my place by noon, okay? Um, but it's already past one. Yeah, that's not my problem. Oh, this is the best coffee I've ever tasted! Ah! Oh, God, great meeting, Tails. Yeah, I'm on my way to the set of my upcoming movie. Single slacker lives with Talking Fox, then meets sassy girl of his dreams. It co-stars Ryan Reynolds as the Talking Fox. Yeah, hold on, I gotta take this. This is T-Bone, talk to me. What do you mean, Ry Ray's off the project? Well, well, who's his replacement? What the fuck is a Freddy Prince Jr.? You better fix this or I'm walking and you can kiss my two tails goodbye, asshole. Now go find some coffee and throw it in your fucking face. Ugh, amateurs. Well, that's it for me today. Time to head back to Mikasa and chillax. This is hands down my favorite part of the day. It's so relaxing. Nothing beats a nice hot golden shower. Do I still think about who? Sonic? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. 
When you're as big as I am, you can't waste your time with small fries like him, you know? You gotta be the bigger person. You just gotta move on and keep printing that money. Ooh, I wonder what this could be. That's Tails, folks. Nice helmet, Space Cadet. Heard you needed some help. We just need to figure out what to create so we can reach that star right. What do you mean, create? Just type in anything you want, and it'll magically appear. Get the fuck out of here! Let me try. Alright, let's see what we got here. Give this thing a test drive. F-O-O-D. Whoa, that is weird. Okay, I guess I need to be more specific. Alright, let's see here. <laughs> more food. Much better. Okay, I, I kind of need that star right, so... Oh, wait! Sinequa, Sinequa, you go! Avocado, okay. Haha, <laughs> that's my girl! Okay, clearly I've made a mistake in hiring you, so... Oh, I got it! Sonic, you are a fucking genius! Huh, that is a lot of crack and porno. That's pretty depressing, man. Yeah, I'm a fucking mess. Man, this sucks! Why does Tails get to live the good life while I'm stuck working shit jobs with stupid fucking idiots? Hmm, thanks. Fuck it. I'm gonna make myself super rich and then I'm gonna make Tails eat shit! I think you mean rings? Oh, fuck you! Oh, god damn it! <clears throat> Plan B, rob a gas station. We smoking that crack or what? Hey, 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 look who it is! Do I know you? No, but everybody knows you! You're a legend! You killed the genocidal plumber! What can I get you? Oh, how nice. I'll start with all your fucking money. Okay, okay, anything you want, just don't hurt me! I've got a wife, two kids, or... Hey, finally he's got the tinkle! <laughs> yeah, this place better have some serious booze. Oh, hey, what's up, Sonic? Uh, where's your little Viking friend? Yeah, he's great. So what's up, Omega Man? Uh, not too much. We're on a super secret mission and a... Did you just call me Omega Man? Yeah, I always thought it was like Opossum. You know how like it's spelled with an O, but everybody just says Possum? That's not even remotely correct. Right, got it. So, are you still dating Tails? Tails is a dude. Yeah, I know. Oh, no, no, man, we're, we're, we're not get. We, we never, we're not really even talking right now. He cash explosion, big video game, he's all kinds of a dick right now. You know what? It's, it's just complicated. Uh, look, I just need to fill this thing up. So, do you do it, or is there someone else I should talk to? Oh, I don't work here. I was actually robbing the place when you crashed on top of that dude. Ah, well that's convenient. Really helps out this gratuitous crossover episode. We should probably get out of here. Some careless but handsome robot must have been trying to shotgun propane tanks and yada yada yada, the place was about to explode. It was Gutsman. It was me. Alright, that was quick. Well, it was, uh, okay catching up with you, Sonic. Uh, you too, Opossum Man. Did he just call you? Nice. Are we too late for the crossover episode? What do you want from me? You asked me to save your ugly ass girlfriend. I couldn't do it, so I blew up your boat. <laughs> I got none of that. Get in. Sure thing, complete stranger. Holy shit. Sonic! Glad you could make it! Damn, Kirby, you lost a lot of weight. You look better than skinny Seth Rogen. And slightly less bizarre than skinny Jonah Hill. Haha, <laughs> love it! I'll tell Seth Rogen and Joe how you said that! But right now, all I want to talk about is making you a star! I'm listening. Love it! Ah, thank you, Samuel. Anyway, as you probably noticed, I've found my calling as a Hollywood producer! Oh shit, you did blow the cartridge? Wasn't Gary Oldman Brill as the bad guy? Oh, I never saw it, but it bootlegged like 50 copies. Love it! Classic Sonic! Here, take a whack for old time's sake! No thanks, I'm good. So, this is nice and all, but when do we get to my movie? Sonic, it's gonna be huge! Citizen Kane meets the Terminator huge! It's called... Sonic! One bad character! Do you not love it? Love it! Love it! Of course I fucking love it! Plus it'll give me something to shove in Tails' stupid asshole face! Speaking of Tails, he's your co-star! He's huge! But if you say he's an asshole, then he's an asshole! I fucking hate that guy! Love that guy! He's great! I'm not working with that prick! I'd rather give a movie theater guy a handjob to get a bootleg copy of Blow the Cartridge! 
or something equally depraved I haven't already done. There'll be plenty of time for depraved hand jobs after you're a star. In the meantime, we gotta start you out small and dignified, and I've got just the thing. Love it! Nice! Can you put me in big trouble in Little China? I wanna meet Jack Burton. Yeah, movies don't work like that. Family. Good to see you're still a psychopath. Love it! Remember Sonic the Hedgehog? Once the pinnacle of video games, he lost all his money, then spent a short time as a mob boss, now he's broke again and slowly climbing his way back into gamers' hearts everywhere. So Sonic, tell me what you've been up to! I was smoking a lot of crack and drinking ass wine, just feeling sorry for myself. Then my old psycho friend Kirby came along and wanted to put me back in the spotlight. Ass wine, fantastic! Now, you've been appearing in a number of new releases lately, isn't that right? Yeah, I started out small as an extra in The Witcher 2. Fish heads for sale, get your man out fish heads! Hey buddy, how about a fish head? You look like you're using me, okay, next time, next time? Powerful stuff, and you've definitely been keeping busy with a supporting role in the huge blockbuster Mass Effect 3. I play the role of Hedgy, Shepard's best friend and hype man. Ha! You want some? Uh. Oh shit! You got knocked the fuck out! As a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You. Big, stupid jellyfish. Oh, motherfucker just said jellyfish! <laughs> Fantastic! And I also hear you got to be in a sex scene, Ooh. Well, yeah, but it wasn't exactly how I imagined it. Then I was all, no, your anus! <laughs> I wondered where you were. Kinda in the middle of a story here. He didn't tell you? She respects your privacy. Not like me. Yo, Shep, this chick wants the bone! What are you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna just get out of here. I thought I heard the casing crack during my last fight. Hey, Shep, the, uh, the door's stuck, man. A uh, little help here? Yeah. Seriously, dude, this thing's jammed up. If you guys are gonna bang, I gotta get out of here. Far away. Is there a key or something? You could spend the uh, rest of I see it right by the bed. You're special, Liara. I want you to know that. Then show me. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! What the hell, bro? Yo! Whoa, she's naked! <laughs> okay, I've heard of smoking hot before, but this is ridiculous. Where the hell is this boy? <laughs> hey, Shep? Oh god, Shep, I can see everything! Where's the fucking key? Give me the key! My god, Shep, give me the key! Come on, I gotta- Fuck this, I'm just going out the window. What the it hell? is getting steamy in here! What so what's next for Sonic? Me and Kirby are working on a movie about my life. It's called Sonic One Bad Character. Fantastic! Tails is gonna be in it, right? No, fuck that. Who wants to see that asshole on the big screen anyway? <laughs> well, according to Cash Explosion, I'd say around 30 million people want to see him. So he's in the movie, right? Knock it off, man. He's not in the fucking movie. Well, it'd be a lot better if he was. That's all the time we have for today. <laughs> <laughs> Not too shabby, huh? The audience loves a wild card! Seriously though, Tails isn't gonna be in the movie, right? Absolutely not! Well, maybe, definitely yes. Okay, we're meeting him for brunch right now! Let's go! Love it, love it, love it! Fuck! Oh man, the food in this place is so much better than the food in the dumpster behind this place. Get used to it! Your days of eating out of dumpsters are over! For now. Enjoying your meal, Jim? Oh, god damn it. Hey, hey, Knuckles, how's burger time? You burned it to the ground with a crack pipe, you asshole. Now I gotta work here and serve pretentious dickheads like you all day. You know how hard it is to carry shit with fucking boxing gloves on? C can I get some more water? Thanks. I'm gonna fucking murder you one day. So, what's going on with my movie? The audience wants authenticity, so we gotta get the whole crew together. Starting with the worm guy and the fat... Thing. Great. I'm sure pulling him out of a mountain of coke and tits should be no problem. And, you know, I've been doing some thinking about Tails and- Hey, speak of the devil! Kerbone! You look like a penis. Hey, Sonic, whose joystick did you pause to get seated in here, huh? Nah, I'm just fucking with you. No hard feelings, huh? Let's make a movie. What do you say? What do I say? How about die, fucker? Fucking die! <laughs> Yo, dipshit! Huh? What? What do you say, man? We doing this or what? Oh, huh? uh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. In fact, I've been doing some thinking, and I think maybe it's best if Tails gets top billing in this. Tails and Sonic. Two bad characters. Oh my god! Love it! Wait a minute. What's your angle here, Sonic? No angle, man. I just want this to be the biggest fucking movie of all time. Uh, I don't know if I trust you, but, uh... <laughs> 
Top billing and player one. Uh, I like the sound of that. Love it. Oh, man, I want to bash something to death so bad right now. Let's fucking party. We're all back. The four musketeers. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? Front and button. Yeah, come on. Oh, man. I'm not in the movie, am I? I'm telling you, Jonathan Silverman and Sarah Silverman are not related. Yes, they are! I met Andrew McCarthy at a party once, and he told me so! You never met Andrew McCarthy! Uh, whatever. Sonic, back me up here! Sonic? What are you doing here? If you're looking for the job of motorboating coke off a Colombian prostitute's boobies, you're too late! The job is filled! Look, we're making a huge blockbuster movie, and I need you guys to be in it. Let's go home. What the hell is that? Come on, really, guys? Nothing? Thanks, dicks. Look, giant monster skull face. I gotta take these two dummies back home, so if you could point us to the closest donkey out of here, uh, that'd be great. Ooh, little monkeys. That doesn't sound so bad. They're not monkeys! It's his anaconda! <laughs> Sonic, do something! Isn't this sort of thing your specialty? You think beating up coked-out cannibal pop singers is my specialty? Yeah, yes, uh -huh. absolutely. That's what you do. Me too. All right, pussies, I'll do it. But then you have to come back and be in the movie. Will there be coke on tits? We're shooting this in Hollywood. They invented coke on tits. You got yourself a deal. And I want to play Tails. Ah! Holy shit, the bitch is on me! Get her off! Oh my god! <laughs> All right, look, see? I killed your coke whores. Now let us go, Padrino! That rhymed. Sorta. I thought that was the deal. If you're pitted in a fight to the death and you kill the thing that's trying to kill you, you automatically get to leave. Isn't that how it usually works? Okie doke. Take it easy, Padrino. <laughs> no, but there's so much coke! I never want to leave! <laughs> okay, folks, this is the scene where Mario's gang attacks Sonic's gang. Now pay attention to detail. We want this movie to be 100% accurate. Except for the fact that Tails and Sonic have completely switched roles and that I'll be playing Mario. And... action! Come on, can we talk about this? No. You fucked up my business, let my brother get hit by a bus, and worst of all, somehow you managed to program my DVR so it records each episode of Bachelor Pad like three different times. Ah, uh, that was me. That show is terrible and so are you. You should get stabbed in the face every single morning for the rest of your life, you limp dick loser. Go jump off a bridge! Cue the piss! Oh, come on! And cut! Perfect, I love it! Let's head over to Paperboy next! Wait a second, I don't remember saying all that shit and pissing all that piss. Yeah, I'm spicing up your boring life. Let's move, people! We're losing daylight. Action! Hold it right there. We've got a jail cell full of barely legal hookers down at the station. We're gonna need you to come with us and fuck all of them. <laughs> Tails wins. Oh, come on! I love barely legal hookers. All right, dude, stop that. That's annoying. Get out of here. Okay, Tails, this is the passionate scene when you hook up with Mother Brain. Ooh, Tails is gonna get some tail. Yeah, there's no way I'm touching your disgusting brain drain. Will this bitch out of here? I got a replacement. Lara! All right, Sugar Tits, why don't you head over to Hair and Makeup and get all spick and span down there. In the meantime, I'm gonna need a fluffer before this scene gets started. Uh, looking at you. No fucking way. Uh, my agent says I don't have to run, so I'm not running. I'm pretty sure I haven't had a line in this entire movie. Hey, Tarantino, everybody wins in this scene, so how about we just follow the script? Hey, who's the star here? That's right, me. So shut up, get in this donkey costume, and light yourself on fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since I'm living Tails' life, shouldn't I be in the car? Should it be my cash explosion? Nah. See you at the rap party, fuckface! That's a wrap, everybody! See you tonight! Don't be late or I'll beat you to death and devour your corpse! Probably not the best time for this, but, uh... I was promised coke on tits. Hello, everyone! We're here for the premiere of Two Bad Characters, one of the most talked about movies since Something to Talk About showed the trailer for Braveheart, and it looks like the stars are beginning to arrive! Here are a few of them now, that's Earthworm Jim, Eggman, and Guest! What the hell's a guest? I'm in the fucking movie! Shut up, Gimli, nobody's here to see you! Ladies, ladies, room 6B, La Quinta Inn, look for me, poolside! You seriously couldn't wear pants tonight. 
And here are the two bad characters themselves, Tails and Sonic! Tails! Tails! Can we have a word? <laughs> Buckle up. You're about to get your money's worth. Cool as always. Hey, Sonic, please don't hit me. You loving this red carpet tonight or what? It's gonna be a scorcher. What do you mean? I, I, was, I was trying to do a cool thing like Tails. Whatever, fuck you. to kill you, Sonic! <laughs> Nailed it. Someone, help me! Oh, my back. You did it, old friend. You saved the day. Sorry about all the urine. Don't worry about it, pal. So what are you gonna do with your half of the rings? I don't know. You know, you should build a nice little nest egg for your future. Find yourself a wife, start a family, and settle down somewhere nice and quiet. Oh, fuck that. I'm gonna let this bitch ride on Dreamcast stock. Ring-a-ding-dong! I'm gonna ring it, and then I'm gonna ding it, and then I'm gonna dong! You're a fucking idiot. Come on, we gotta get to the chunk. Tails, what the fuck are you doing in here? What are you gonna do, make it real hot so everyone complains and wants to leave? Real fucking original, what happened to you, man? You used to be great. Whatever, just go back to your seat. I came here to, uh, piss on this boiler. You know I love the smell of hot steaming piss. Well, that is true, but I'm warning you, if one thing goes wrong, I'm, I swear... <sighs> Fuck, I, I think this thing is locked. You should get stabbed in the face every single morning for the rest of your life, you limp dick loser. Go jump off a bridge! <laughs> oh, come on! I have a message for Tails. Oh boy, this can't be good. And that message is, you're gonna die! But first, there's a few things I want to get off my chest. What do you mean we're locked in? You gotta get the fuck out of here. Relax, let's just chill here and show up to the after party like fucking gods. Listen to those screams of laughter, man. They're eating it up. Those aren't screams of laughter. I rigged this place to explode to get back at you. Why do you think I let you be player one? Sure, you get top billing, but it also means you can die. Die, you motherfucker! So, you were just gonna kill everyone else in the theater, too? What a dick. You didn't die? We got blasted into outer space! What the fuck? The hell is that? Okay, then. Hilarious outtake. Hey, this is Mike from Lowbrow. Thanks for watching our video, and be sure to click like and subscribe. Maybe stick around and watch all our other funny videos, and ooh, look at that shiny new Patreon button in the- Alright. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, Tails is just—he just—he ain't going to die, bro. He ain't gonna die, and I don't know what is—is—is the is, is spaceship thing gonna be like Mega Man episode or something like that? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just guessing, but it seems like a UFO or something is uh, going to take them somewhere. I feel like, but uh, yeah, that was definitely something. Definitely something. Uh, we tried. Uh, your own error. Okay, nice, Zach. Nice. <laughs> okay, what I caught, bro. Is that art? That's really nice. Why? Welcome to Sonic. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> uh, give me a second. Okay. Uh, where where were we with the comments? Wish me luck, I'm gonna try to build it while watching stream sounds good, K, or how far are you building it? Don't look at Discord, I saw it, Zach, that's, oh god. Uh, Atari, E.T. for the Atari is one of the worst games of all time. E.T. Final Fantasy, there might be an audio glitch this season. I loved Popeye as a kid. Uh, love how they admit Sonic committed crimes, yet they didn't care, so, much like the real Hollywood. Yeah, how about right? that's about okay, correct, uh, or accurate. Uh, should I be scared? No, no, it was fine. Oh, okay, the glitch did happen. Good. Bro, my side is lagging. Uh-oh. Hey, yo, I'll pretend that didn't happen. Yeah, we'll all just pretend that didn't happen. Uh, that proves Tails is the goat. I mean, yeah, he didn't die after that huge explosion, so I have to give it to Tails. Season 5 is probably my favorite. Well, we'll, we'll get to that very soon. Uh, well, I gave up. Lol, didn't get that far. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. But yeah, season five. 
is going to be something interesting. That is for sure. Next up was IDW. So let me put this. Uh, Sonic's a psychopath. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right. Let me see here. Which number are we on for the IDWs? Oh, we're on number 12? Wait, what? No, we're on 13 now. Okay. Are you doing suggestions from last time? No, we finished all the suggestions already, KR. Uh, so who started it? Tails or Sonic Collision Chaos B Mix? Uh, there was no leftover suggestions. Title, present. Okay. Yeah, let's get into the IDWs. Uh, give me a second. How long is the number 14? Okay, we might watch two of them. We'll see. Alright, let's start with number 13. Okay. See if we did those three already. I don't remember. Sounds good, cheese. I'll, I'll, when we get to them, I'll, I'll double check. All right, let's check out issue number thirteen, a dub from the IDWs. So let's us. We actually let me see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go. Hey there. Taking a rest. That's cool. Pretty much what I'm doing too. It's been wild these past few days. As much as I like adventure. I like kicking back afterwards, too. Everyone else, not so much. Amy's gone right back to helping others. She's part of something they're calling the Restoration. Knuckles is back on Angel Island, guarding the Master Emerald. Silver's out searching for some looming doom threatening the future. And Tails is keeping busy with one of his bajillion projects. I told him they could relax. Eggman is retired, Metal Sonic is de-weaponized, and everything is cool. When I'm telling people to slow down, you know something is wrong. <laughs> Sonic! I think something's wrong! Jinxed it. Take a look at this! You're cordially invited to a welcome back party in Windmill Village to celebrate the return of the world's most brilliant doctor. Where did this come from? It just appeared in my workshop. It's pretty spooky, honestly. The wording doesn't sit well with me either. This sounds really like Eggman. But he's gone, sort of, right? You and the Chaotix confirmed he lost his memory and became a kindly mechanic. Yep, Mr. Tinker. So, did he recover? Or did he manage to fool all of us? Maybe there's another angle? And worst of all, will Shadow get to say, I told you so? This could be serious. Let's look into it right away. You left Dr. I mean, Mr. Tinker in Windmill Village, right? Right. Come on, buddy. Race you there. Do do do, getting fresh data sets. Dee dee dee, going to conquer the world. Da da da. Sonic has been baited, as per your instructions, Doctor. Ha! Excellent. Did we have to be so overt? An ambush alone would have been sufficient. You said we should mess with his head. Knowing I'm back and up to something will do just that. I wanted global proclamation. This is subtle for me. Of course, sir. I don't mean to second-guess you. Is that...? Yes! Test one! <laughs> Marvelous! Total and instantaneous transmutation! Hmm. Of the act of plant tissue, yes. But not the processed wood. I need more data. Bring me the animals. 
Nothing is on fire or in a robot. That's a good sign. In fact, there isn't a sign of anyone. Which is, you know, a bad sign. Did Eggman kidnap everyone in town? Without causing property damage? Nah, not his style. Hello? Is someone there? Please help! Elder Scruffy, are you okay? Yes, thank goodness you boys showed up. Please help us! Of course! What happened to you? I'll be fine. It's the rest of the town. First those thugs kidnapped Mr. Tinker, and then they returned and locked everyone in the community center. Yes! It wasn't all ruse! Wait, back up. How long ago did Mr. Tinker get grabbed? At least a week. Nobody could find you to tell you. I've been busy lately. You said the same guys who attacked the village kidnapped Mr. Tinker? Yes. I've never seen them before recently. I'm sure they're lurking around here still. Did you get a good look at them? Maybe hear their names? Oh, we'll tell you. A what? Prepare to get wrecked. Prepare to get pummeled. It's, it's payback, payback time, time for rough and tumble. tumble. Did they just try to rhyme pummel with tumble? That's a thing they do. These are the mooks Nux and I tangled with in Barricade Town. I don't remember you saying they had those weird weapons. Nah, but it doesn't make a difference. You helped the Elder save the villagers. I've got this. Are you sure? Positive. Don't act like we're nothing. You only won because you mobbed us with wisps. Where's the other guy? I want to tie his dreadlocks to a knot. Knuckles has better things to do than tutor you in humility. Now I've got some questions for you. Where's Eggman? Was he the one to bust you out of jail? Nah, not that we needed the help. Then who- Yo! God, this isn't adding up. You two aren't smart enough combined to build gear like that, and you aren't subtle enough to drop off a cryptic letter. I'll leave this mystery business to the Chaotix. Why don't you save me a trip and just tell me what I want to know? If you can beat us, maybe we'll tattle. Don't bother with him! Crush him! It's all right, everyone. Sonic and Tails have come to save us. Swing and a miss! You're all better off in here until the fight is done. Take cover and keep your heads down. Oh, uh, all right then. Test two! Commencing with vertebrate specimens! Just like before, full saturation leads to immediate transmutation. Initiating test three. Pocky, grab the picky! Good. Now back off. It worked! The infection transferred immediately! Hmm, but the rate that it's spreading is considerably slower. Oh, the subject shows aggression tendencies without direction. That's a bonus. Moving samples into position. Let's keep up the pace. Moving on to test four! Now then, my little woodland varmint, I want you to pick up this flower and... Come get the flower. Come on, you can do it. Grab it or I'll let the Pocky get you! There we go. Now, touch the flower to each of those samples. I don't see any signs of infection, sir. No, but it did pass from flora to fauna. That's test five complete! My metal virus is a complete success! Even with the slightest exposure, my synthetic concoction spreads across organic tissue, converting it into my robotic slave! It's an army that builds itself! Inorganic or processed material remains inert, meaning my infrastructure is safe from infection or corruption! I'm a genius! I'm so happy to have been a part of this. I never dreamed I'd be so honored when I was searching for you. How did you find me? Metal Sonic had half my empire scouring the globe. He sent search parties of badniks. That's a finite number of sensors over a limited range, all of which take times. I had the warp topaz. With a modest charge, I could open windows to the world in an instant. I looked farther and further in hours than the badniks could do in a day. When did you sleep? <sighs> sleep is for the weak. I made myself quite ill, but it was worth it to find you. <laughs> I'm so glad you think so. Can you zoom in? I want to see Sonic getting his teeth kicked in. By your command, Doctor. Oh! <laughs> I can't miss! 
villagers are safe. How are you doing? I've had chili dogs hit my guts harder. Yikes! Okay, so it was a big chili dog. Who asked you to butt in, kid? Why are you even here? Because when the day needs saving... One team never fails. You're, you're about, about to, to get, get busted, busted by Sonic, Sonic and Tails. <laughs> That's our thing! Stop stealing our thing! Dibs on the runt. I lose my tail, but you'll get two! Um... Whoa! <laughs> Ugh! Wanna split up? You want rough or- Yes! Okay. Hey, it's all dark and gruesome. Let's play tag. You're it! <gasps> Such witty banter. Come on, move those stubby legs. Ah! You're not out of the woods yet, Junior. I've got a present for you. Straight from me to you! <laughs> no fair! No fair! Such a waste of a perfectly good vapor condenser. Shall we move on to test six? There is no test six. Surely you jest. Our data sample is minuscule. The metal virus works, Starline. It's time to move on to the next phase of my master plan. But what if- Ah, uh, uh, uh. Who's the evil mm. mastermind here? You are, sir. You're darn skippy. Now, keep an eye on the cannon fodder. While I work on the next step! One, two, one, two! Hustle, buddy! Nah, it's part of my charm. And now... It's not fair. I had a tail again. The lake... That... So back... Okay, man, it's over. Let's go. Heartless. You're just heartless. You only have one of the two. What's getting your head in? And just like that, my sympathy is spent. All good, Tails? Yep. Gave him a taste of his own medicine and smashed his launcher. <coughs> Deal's a deal, remember? You're beat. So tell me what you did with Dr. Eggman. Don't you mean Mr. Tinker? Don't get smart with me. You're no good at it. Fine. You want to know so bad? We- <gasps> What the heck was that? Some kind of localized wormhole? So, he's back, isn't he? I mean, those guys kidnap Mr. Tinker, and then they show up with that tech. Yeah, but who sprung him out of jail? Who told him where Mr. Tinker was? We're missing half the pieces of the puzzle. Like, what if somebody else is involved? Maybe somebody's using the old man, making him think he's building, I don't know, toys or something. Come on, Sonic! I know, I know, just... I really hope it's not the obvious. I'll see if Silver found something. You coming? You go. The village sustained some nasty damage. I'll help clean up, then come find you. Okay, see you later. A weird random attack. Tails and I get separated. This is feeling a lot like how things started with Neo Metal Sonic. I'm not gonna second guess Tails this time though. I'm gonna get this figured out, fast. Tinker, Eggman, whoever you are now, I'm gonna find you. Your plan isn't gonna get off the ground. You gotta give us another shot, Doc! We came so close! New tail! New tail! <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Metal Sonic? Feeling like you're being overlooked? You've had your turn! Ha <laughs> ha Delightful! If I may be so bold, sir, I share Metal Sonic's enthusiasm. Who? Oh? Please let me take the next shot at Sonic. I know exactly how to strike at him. Next time, Sonic vs. Dr. Starline! That one was genuine. Okay. <laughs> All right, we, uh, I might watch just one more, one more IDW. I, I like these. Uh, let's see how long number fourteen is. Yeah, it's only eight minutes. Yeah, we can watch this. We'll watch number fourteen too. Give me a second. All right, all right, number fourteen. Uh, let me 
put the screen up in a second after all these ads are done okay there we go all right let's watch let's watch this uh, did anybody give any suggestions today? Yes, we have a couple more after this. I just I just like watching the IDWs. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog IDW issue number 14 dub. Let us see how this goes. You sure this is the way? This is where the guy told me to go. I mean, I know this seems sketchy. Random guy appears, tells me about an Eggman base, and then vanishes, but... Nah, it's cool. It matches up with what Tails experienced the other day, and right now we need any lead we can get. Yo, look up ahead. Looks like they're clearing out the base. And it looks like my lead was right. Uh-huh. So when does this blow up in our faces? Seems like they're trying to get rid of evidence. Let's hit them fast before they... <laughs> oh, hey, Metal. Looks like you're fully repaired, huh? Who ah! fixed you up? Tinker or Eggman? Ah, oh, right. You can't talk as plain old vanilla Metal Sonic. Was that the real reason you went back to being Neo Metal Sonic? So you could do more than beep boop? Because this is a major downgrade. I mean, if the doc didn't want you getting distracted by battle banter, it didn't really work. Nice catch, Silver. You okay? I'll hold metal. You go into the base and... Gentlemen. What the... That's the guy! That's my informant! Looks like he's controlling that wormhole. The same kind that grabbed Rough and Tumble. All right. I've got a bunch of questions. And I'm willing to bet you're the answer to a lot of them. Very astute. I am Dr. Starline. And I am indeed the one behind your present concerns. And why is that? I wanted to meet you experience you for myself <laughs> the blue blur hero across time and space the only being alive to be able to stand up to the overwhelming might and brilliance of dr eggman through sheer skill alone <laughs> can i measure up can i complete my objective with you in my way everything about this encounter has been constructed to be the ultimate test of our abilities and willpower. He did not sound this creepy or crazy when I talked to him. Well, at least you're giving me straight answers. I'll assume you busted rough and tumble out of jail with your sky holes. So tell me this, what did you do with Mr. Tinker? That pale shadow of the Doctor no longer exists. I've seen to it. That Doctor Eggman has been restored. Hmm. The metal virus's progression is steady, but slow. A self-recruiting army is a nice idea, but it won't spread far at this rate. Total saturation works fine, but there's no way I can soak the whole planet in my metal virus. I wonder if repeated exposure would accelerate things. Boop! <laughs> Boop! 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 Eureka! The greater the exposure, the more rapid the effect! A mob of my infected minions will be able to convert new victims in no time! All I need to do is administer the metal virus in a few locations, and the rest will take care of itself! Which means everything fits neatly into phase two of my brilliant- Hey man! We're tired of waiting! No, uh, yes. You're still here. The deal was, we helped get you back, and you help us waste Sonic! Your last set of weapons weren't good enough! We want what you owe us, and we want it now! You're in luck. My latest weapon just got out of beta! Difficult to get traction in deep snow, isn't it? Hard to build up your trademark speed? If only you had a turbine instead of legs. Sonic, move! I'll get him! Ah, he's too fast for you to focus on! And I won't grab him! Ah! <laughs> nice! That was a high-quality piece of Eggman technology! And it comes with a complimentary high-quality butt-kicking! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Welcome back. We're almost done here. Gotcha! Whew, thanks! You're welcome, but 
Where are we now? Going by the slope of the peak. It looks like we're on the opposite side of the mountain. He must have scouted out the whole mountain beforehand. Grab on. I'll get us back there. Wouldn't it be faster if I flew us over? Nope, this is faster! Much faster! Is everything set up? Excellent. Thank you for keeping the Badnik caravan safe. You go first. I'll give them one last second to catch up. No? How disappointing. Miss me? <laughs> How? You My are... name is Sonic. I'm made of goes fast. Eggman details. Spill them. Everything's been secured in the vault. Straight to the back wall. Access code 2662. I've got it. You just keep him down. I want to hear it from you, fanboy. Where's Eggman? What are you two planning? Eggman isn't here. <laughs> He's planning something breathtaking. And I'm planning on planting explosives inside a vault. Then giving your friend the detonation code. Silver, <laughs> wait! <laughs> Woohoo! I did it! I can't believe it was that easy. How spectacular! I hope the doctor saw that. How dare you! But he's gone now! He can't get in the way of your plans! The Hedgehog is mine to destroy! It's not the job of some upstart like you! I could carpet bomb him any day! That's not enough! That's not the point! I have to beat him! I have to prove I'm superior! There's a right and a wrong way to vanquish your lifelong nemesis, and you did it very, very wrong! <sighs> I'm sorry, sir. You should be! Don't let it happen again! I can't! Lucky for you, Sonic is too tenacious to die because of your barbarism. Wow! Way to go, Silver! That's two you owe me! Silver! What was all that you unloaded anyway? I haven't used that base in years. Everything in there was obsolete junk. Not to me. They're treasured collectibles of your legacy. Pfft, fine. So how did you like your first taste of battling that insufferable rodent? The experience has put a lot of things into a new perspective, sir. And the next thing I knew, I was waking up here. I guess Sonic brought me back? Yep. I still owe you one, though. Thank you for saving Sonic. Now rest up. Let me know if you need anything. I'll be fine. Just a little... ugh... dizzy. No sign of this Starline guy? Nope. His wormhole portal thingy was gone by the time we left. This is bad. Eggman is back, he's gathering allies, and we have no idea what his plan is. The world has barely begun rebuilding after his last attack. If he were to strike again so soon, it could be devastating. We can't let that happen. Yeah, but where do we start? We barely began to search all his bases and labs when we were looking for Neo. He could be in any one of those now, or in ones we didn't even find. Right, so instead of wasting our time looking for where he is, We'll go where we know he isn't. We'll tap into his network from one of his old unguarded bases. We sure will. Let's go. Really? But I have so much work to do here and... It's your plan, so you got dibs. Call it a working vacation. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Eggman, but it's game over for you. Next time, Dangers in the Dark. All right. Okay then. All right, enough, enough IDWs. <laughs> uh, we'll we'll get into other suggestions now. Uh, I did. Sadly, I can't watch. Oh, hello, Alex. Uh, sadly, I can't watch this stream. Really busy with some work right now. All good, but definitely next time sounds good, Alex. No worries. I understand. No problem. No problem. Uh, yeah, I like these IDWs, man. I like them. They're nice. All right, the next up was the blazing development of Blaze the Cat. And uh, we'll get into this. All right, here we are. I'm 
let's see that these ads play how long has it already been uh, it's been an hour and 33 minutes okay I got you time for the goat blaze the goat let's see let's see I like blaze I, I, I do like blaze as a character uh, is the screen up bro that's a lot of prime bottles in the background I still need to collect a, a few of them I need to get the purple one the orange one and then there's uh, like the other ones that uh, the special releases I like I like collecting them they're nice and bright <laughs> Uh, the blazing development of Blaze the Cat featuring the Eternal Samurai. So, let us see the video now. The Sonic franchise has had a lot of iconic female characters in its 30 or so years. You know, Amy, Rouge, but there is one that although being met with both critical and fan acclaim, is pretty much the definition of underrated and underutilized. So today, join myself and a fellow Sonic connoisseur, who I'm very happy to have on for this. What's up, Goxes? It's Samic, your Dojo Master of the Eternal Samurai, and what an honor it is to collab with Eldarin while talking about my most favorite character, Blaze the Cat. So thanks for having me here, Eldarin. Happy to have you, Samic, as we're turning the clocks back all the way back to 2005 to the release of... Sonic Rush! We have a lot to cover, so we're not going to get into the nitty gritty per se of Sonic Rush's overall development, as maybe that could be safe for its own video topic, but more Blaze's involvement slash creation in Sonic Rush. That being said, Samick and myself got what you need, and we're going back to back, taking a deep dive into the concept art and development of everyone's favorite fire-powered princess, Blaze the Cat. Let's get started. Blaze the Cat was introduced in the Sonic series with the game Sonic Rush, and if you ask me, the game was more about Blaze than Sonic as it really delved into her character development. Prior to explain Blaze's personality in a nutshell, other than being afraid of heights and having fire powers or pyrokinesis, I'd say that she's dutiful, strong-willed, prideful, and more importantly, giant reserve. All these qualities about Blaze are what make her so relatable to many of us, me included. It's no wonder why she's a fan favorite character in the Sonic fan base. But anyway, if you don't know much about Blaze and her character, I'd be happy to explain. Blaze is the princess of the Soul Dimension. She was born into royalty and the throne was eventually handed down to her. She was also given the title of being the guardian of the Soul Emeralds. Essentially, the Soul Emeralds are the Soul Dimension equivalent of the Chaos Emeralds. When all seven of them are collected, Blaze has the ability to transform into a super form, Burning Blaze. And as a fun fact, she's actually the only female character in the Sonic series to have a super form. Pretty impressive, right? Well anyway, one could argue that her role as the Guardian of the Soul Emerald is very similar to how Knuckles is the Guardian of the Master Emerald. Both of them had those roles handed down to them through their family heritage, so they didn't really have much of a choice in that matter. And in return, that caused the both of them to be rather isolated from other people. While Knuckles may have a hard time with it, Blaze is honestly more isolated than he is because of her perspective on her pyrokinesis. She viewed her flames as more of a curse and the main reason for her being isolated from other people. I mean, she did flat out say to Sonic and Sonic Rush, I am the guardian of the Soul Emeralds. It is a fate that forces me to live with my curse, my flames. Because of my powers, I have always been alone. Also in the official strategy guide for Sonic Generations by Brady Games, it further emphasizes on how Blaze viewed her flames as a curse in her bio, where it says, Born with pyrokinesis, the ability to make flames, she endured a lot of teasing from other children due to her initial inability to control her gift. Seeing her abilities as a curse, she became shy, withdrawn, and self-reliant. Given how closed off Blaze has been throughout her life, it took a bit of doing for her to find her true friends and to feel open to express who she is. And the story of Sonic Rush explains how she did just that. In Sonic Rush, she was taken to Sonic's dimension after the Soul Emeralds were taken to his dimension thanks to Eggman and his Soul Dimension counterpart, Eggman Nega. Being the princess of the Soul Dimension and the guardian of the Soul Emeralds, she had a strong will to get the Soul Emeralds back as she felt that it was her duty being the guardian of the Soul Emeralds for the sake of protecting her own people. On her journey of getting the Soul Emeralds back, she ran across many of Sonic's friends. Cream was the first one she came across. Blaze just wanted to mind her own business and get the Soul Emeralds back, 
but she was taken by surprise when Cream just went up to her and greeted her out of nowhere. Heck, Cream even invited Blaze to her own house when they first met. Blaze just had no clue on how friendly some people could be. After visiting Cream's house, Cream tagged along with Blaze on her journey to collect the Soul Emeralds, though Blaze was very reluctant about it. Throughout Blaze's journey with Cream at her side, they go through each stage retrieving Soul Emeralds one by one and meet some of Sonic's friends along the way. Blaze being Blaze, she didn't want to get caught up in conversations, but Cream more or less dragged her into them. Through her interactions with Sonic's friends, she was constantly reminded that she can't carry the weight of her world on her own, and that she needs to rely on her friends sometimes. But the concept of friends was so unfamiliar to her after being in isolation for most of her life. She grew up not being allowed to express herself, and it ended up being really taxing on her social and even mental health. However, Cream did manage to get Blaze to crack a smile on her face a couple times, so it seems that we have hope for our feline friend to learn about opening up and making friends. Later in the story, when Blaze was about to get the last Soul Emerald from Eggman, Sonic was there to lend a helping hand, but Blaze demanded that she must take care of this problem on her own. Sonic genuinely wanted to help, but with Blaze being as stubborn as she is, she decided to duke it out against Sonic to get her point across that she must tackle this problem by herself. After the fight, Blaze got exhausted, and it was at this point when she realized that she can't carry the weight of her world on her own, and that she maybe just needs to rely on others for once. So she had no other choice but to swallow her pride and put her trust in Sonic and accept his help. Throughout Blaze's story in Sonic Rush, we see that she's constantly challenged with being more sociable and putting her trust in others. But over time, she starts seeing that having friends and opening up to others is not so bad after all. She even went out of her way to rescue Cream from Eggman at the end of her story, because she knew that Cream was a worthy friend to her. Now of course, like any Sonic game, there's got to be a final story to truly wrap things up. And while we saw Blaze grow personally and socially in her story, her newfound love for friendship was tested in the final story of Sonic Rush. To sum up what happened in the final story, Blaze felt defeated and useless for not being able to utilize the power of the Soul Emeralds, but Sonic and his friends were there to help remind her that she's not useless, and that she's worth something to each and every one of her friends that she made in Sonic's world. That reminder showed Blaze the true superpower of friendship, which is that they're always there for her, even in the toughest of times. And with that realization, Blaze now felt comfortable being her true self in front of everyone and was able to unleash the power of the Soul Emeralds and transform into Burning Blaze, which allowed her and Super Sonic to defeat the Eggman and save their worlds. After defeating the Eggman, Blaze had to part ways with Sonic and return to her world, which was honestly harder than she thought it'd be. But as Blaze returns to her world, she realizes that if it weren't for Sonic, Cream, and everyone else in Sonic's world, she wouldn't have learned such an important lesson about friendship. She also realized that while she was isolated from everyone, she saw her flames as a curse. But after swallowing her pride and letting people in her life, her friends helped bring the good out in her and helped her see her flames not as a curse, but as a blessing. So the next time you feel shy, anxious, prideful, or even down, just remember Blaze and how she put her trust in others, made friends, and opened up to them. Because at the end of the day, Life is meaningful when you have friends. The base ideas for Sonic Rush, and therefore Blaze, started all the way back during the development of one of the GOATs of 2D Sonic, being Sonic Advance 3, so around 2003 to 2004, where lead director of all the GBA games and soon to be Sonic Rush, Akinori Nishiyama, believed at the time of the third advanced installment, the games were getting too complicated with having to balance Sonic's abilities and making levels that accommodated for all the included characters, so in the next game he would direct, he wanted to opt for a more streamlined approach, with Nintendo Power in December of 2005. With this new Rush game, they decided to stick with two characters and flesh the game out around that. The team decided to set Rush in a whole different dimension than any other prior Sonic game, so atop of one of the playable slots being taken by Sonic, a new character was designed that was the equal to Sonic, being the mysterious and withdrawn Princess Blaze the Cat, defender of the Chaos Emeralds of this dimension, aka the Soul Emeralds. Blaze was first shown off at the E3 2005 showcase, and according to this IGN article, Sonic Team only described that she would have her own levels, abilities, we wouldn't get to see the fiery feline in her full blaze of glory until four months later on September 6th at the 2005 Tokyo Game Show, where Blaze was fully revealed, showing off her gameplay and giving everyone a taste of what was to come for the final rush of release. Blaze was received with very high praise in her gameplay debut, with even 2005 IGN stating when discussing their impression on Blaze and Sonic Rush as a whole, 
Blaze the Cat easily earned her place in the team, however, as her playstyle was directly influenced by Sonic, only with different stat attributes. Blaze's moves are all fancy dancing moves as she pirouettes through the air and does abounding twirls through enemies. She also has a charge similar to Sonic's for dashing off at full speed when needed, and is a good counterpart for the Hedgehog. Rush would release two months later with glowing praise overall, garnering an 82 on Metacritic and IGN even giving it a 9 out of 10. That being said though, the idea conjures in the mind, who exactly on the Sonic Team Dimps collab thought of the original design of Blaze, and well, the answer isn't as easy as it seems. Yuji Uwakawa was slotted as Sonic Rush's lead art director, with him designing Blaze into what we know her as of today, and with a lot of other characters in the series too. But for Blaze, it's actually unknown who created her initial designs, as they're not officially cited as Uwakawa's work. The question then arises, well, who exactly made them? Let's get talking about it. But first, let's discuss what constitutes her final design. In Blaze the Cat's final design, she has lavender fur, a white muzzle with a small black nose, and golden eyes with long eyelashes. One of the most notable features on her head are the red jewel or bindi on her forehead, and her dark purple tipped hair plumes held with the red scrunchie. She also has triangle shaped ears with peach colored canals and longer fur on the sides of her face. As we move down, we see that she's wearing a purple tail coat with a magenta lining on it, as well as a gold collar around her neck. She's also wearing white gloves with fur cuffs on them, white leggings, magenta high heels with fur cuffs, and a white bar across them. And it's honestly quite remarkable how fast Blaze can run, considering that she's wearing high heels. And as for her last notable feature, I'd say that it's the tip of her tail being frayed and dark purple. That pretty much sums up the final design, and if I gotta say so myself, and you know I had to say it, she looks quite ablazing, right? I mean, come on. You see me say it in my quoted tweets about her. Let's get started with the first unknown and radically different design of Blaze. This is her earliest and most contrasting design from the rest in this group, where she looks like those fire powers burnt her to a crisp. Seriously though, her final design would keep the same semblance of proportions and some accessories and still keep that feminine feline look in both designs. Everything here for the most part is completely different, starting with the most obvious being the complete change in color scheme, where in this prototype, she's sporting a black, red, light blue, and white accenting scheme compared to her lavender, purple, red, white, and gold of her final design. With this design, it also seemed the artist really leaned in on the whole fire princess thing, as her hair in this looks more similar to a flame, whereas in the final, it's a tied back ponytail with the purple plumes of her hair jetting upward. Some other things I also found interesting were specifically with her nose. In the prototype, she keeps that same oval-like nose similar to Sonic's, where that ends up being replaced with a more button-shaped cat-like nose. One aspect that stayed throughout her design was the large jewel that in the prototype is in her torso, while in the final was placed on her head. Atop this, there was also another piece of art that was shared from Rush's development that has both Sonic and Proto Blaze on it, really accentuating the whole two sides of the story that Rush has. We do finally get somewhat of an answer regarding these mysterious designs and who designed them as back on Christmas of 2011, writer for Last Minute Continue at the time named Sonic Rex, ex-Sega employee Kevin Era shared with the world these two designs coming from what he described as an early 2005 Sega prototype development PowerPoint in the article. I reached out to Mr. Era on Twitter, where he was kind enough to answer some questions I had for him regarding Blaze, her early designs, and the design document as a whole. Kevin worked for Sega of Europe from the mid-2000s to the early 2010s as one of the community managers and team leaders for SOE. He took care of many things within the community, ranging from the Sega Europe blog, the Sonic-focused blog Nick, Sonic City official web portal, the social media channels, and the big Summer of Sonic event, and more. He dispersed these concept images over the period of a few months, with the logo coming on Christmas and the two full blow-ups of the characters coming on February 4th and 8th of 2012. He did speculate and discuss the comparisons this design had to Shadow, and how potentially this could even be from SA2's production as a prototype Shadow, or connected to Shadow's backstory, before going with the whole Fire Princess origin for Blaze. I asked him about this too, where he said, In this case, I think it's more an allusion to Shadow. How and why, and even if this was deliberate, I simply do not know. You can wonder if Blaze was at one point going to be Shadow's equivalent in her dimension, or another creation of Professor Gerald, but it'd be pure speculation. In the article, he also discussed how there seemed to have been a series of instructional sketches that were put into these early production documents or PowerPoints in this case that describe proposed gimmicks. 
While he did clarify this document was related overall to Sonic Rush, it could have been earlier, just that early 2005 was the only considered concrete time frame. Back when Last Minute Continue was called Sonic Rex, and before I started at Sega importantly, we had a section called the Depository. I was interested in preserving the various media that had been put out. Character art, wallpapers, videos, concept art, music, sound files, etc. It was popular enough that Sega Europe, America, and Japan were using it to download art files. We had a small network of hunters who would go off then email me some stuff maybe six months later. This is how I got a series of internal documents from Sonic Team, Sega of Japan, relating to a few games of that era. The document, which was either a spreadsheet or a PowerPoint presentation. And here's the big zinger regarding the source of this art. Kevin discussed the origin of the designs on his website, saying that they were so early that Uwakawa may not have even drawn these, and I found it funny it seemed people were claiming these were fake due to the stark contrast. Anyways, he said, The item itself is a concept drawing, so no, it doesn't look professional, as it is a first stage concept. It might have even been done by a dimps artist for all we know. It was included in a PowerPoint document that sets out the planned features for the game back in early 2005. When talking on Twitter, he went more into detail about this elusive design document and its origins. It laid out the basics of Sonic Rush and the mechanics. Whenever they do this, they show things off with little sketches and the like. The sort you'd see in a manual maybe, but drawn by someone in the design team. These aren't official images for use, they're game mechanic storyboards and concept art to get the idea off the ground. So not anything overseen by Uwakawa, but more likely something done by the Dimps team. It's really interesting to me that the first look we ever got of Blaze may have been from an uncredited Dimps artist instead of Uwakawa. It makes me also wonder how different Blaze and the Soul Dimension would have turned out if this was THE final Blaze. Moving on to some more traditional concept art, these being done by Uwakawa. Starting with these two more tiger looking designs that while looking similar are not the exact same. Focusing on the front facing shot on the left here, which has Blaze with much more of a tribalistic look to her in my opinion with a dark accenting on her face, ears, and hair. This design reminds me a lot of a tiger or a lynx, mainly due to her posture being a lot more closed off and aggressive, much like these animals, and also seeing the accenting on her face and the larger ears, representing of something you'd see with the stripes of a tiger and overall facial structure of a lynx. She's also rocking these knee-high, boot-like shoes with what seems like straps or laces compared to her final high heels. On a little side note, something I found that was kind of cool while making this was how her shoes are a reflection of Sonic's in terms of design, with the purple and white versus his red and white. Kind of a neat little visual tidbit to show their similarities. With the side profile here, the big thing I noticed was her gloves that mirror Sonic's just like the shoes, along with a much, much shorter tail and these low-cut shoes swapping out from the high boots of the prior prototype design. Another kind of neat thing was how she seems to be wearing more of a dress slash gown here, kind of like Cream's dress, compared to her classic tailcoat. Moving on to the next two, which show off a more Arabian Blaze look, it does make me kind of wonder the different variations the Soul Dimension went through, and how that could have possibly influenced the different designs that Blaze had. Anyways, looking at this large piece here, what I also found really unique is the Arabian influence as she seems to be wearing a salwar. If you don't know what a salwar is, like myself before researching for this video, it's a form of a trouser that is typically wide at the waist but narrow to form a cuffed bottom. The clothing item is held up by a drawstring or elastic belt, with the trousers can be wide and baggy or they can be cut quite narrow. Salwars have traditionally been worn around Eastern Europe, West Asia, Central Asia, and South Asia. This Arabian Middle Eastern influence is all over the design, even with the sandals and sporting a really cool looking necklace-like side chain on the side of her pants that I imagine would end up evolving into her final gold necklace. I find this cultural influence really cool, especially how Uwakawa was able to blend that Arabian influence with the South Asian influence that was shown throughout all of these designs, and even with her final accessories like the gem on her forehead. Being a nod to the bindi of South Asian Hindu culture that is traditionally worn by women for religious purposes and as a beauty mark. Moving on to the next design that is a variation of the prior Arabian inspired one. This now has her keeping the sandals and overall aesthetic of the prior design, but now removing the salwar for a more vest piece of clothing, along with a large piece of cloth flowing in front, sketched with flames, and her sporting some more cuffed pants that too also have flames accenting the bottom portion. I suppose this is to represent that she can control fire, which is pretty cool. I also really like the cuffs she had on her arms, replacing the gold necklace of final. We got another variation of this design, this time with a side profile, kind of blending the two prior ones as she retains the cuff pants from the previous one, but keeps the salwar like top from the other design. Moving on to the last couple of designs we have here, now these are really cool, showing Blaze using her fire abilities. 
Mainly focusing on the left here with this design, while I don't think this is a prototype of Burning Blaze or anything, it's incredibly sick nonetheless. I absolutely adore this design. She has that smugness of like, don't mess with me. You'd see like Super Sonic have, and while this is significantly different from her final look, ditching the high heels, gloves, and even hairband for a bandana, along with the huge flame imprint accenting her face, and the giant jewel on her head. And last, but certainly not least, we have this fully colored concept of an unused cape for Blaze. This actually doesn't come from Sonic Rush, but the fully leaked Sonic 06 script and character spreadsheet. It discusses her character traits, mentioning how she wears a cape to hide her flames, because she was teased, although when provoked, she would toss it off when she's ready to fight. This sounds so freaking sick, but unfortunately the cape would never surface until Sonic Generation's 3DS concept art gallery, where this image officially surfaced for the first time. My guess is they were probably going to give it to her in 06 to kind of differentiate her design from Rush a bit, but it never came to fruition like a lot of the other super cool things that were going to be in 06. On Twitter, Meikawa confirmed that there was a draft of the script that tied into Sonic Rush, therefore making it an actual prequel to 06. Which, of course, we never got. Instead, it being incredibly convoluted with her having like two origins and Rush in 06 and whatever else. On a completely different note, a compilation of the previously mentioned art was showcased at Sonic's 25th anniversary party at Joyopolis in Tokyo, along with a lot of other art we've discussed in the past. Pretty sweet. Blaze has been around for a while now, lending her to multiple voice actors throughout the years. Per usual, we're going to go over the English and Japanese voice actors for Blaze, starting on the English side with her first voice actor being Erika Schroeder, who voiced Blaze from her debut in 2005 to 2010. Schroeder has also voiced Wave in Sonic Riders, Monkey D. Luffy in One Piece, and Bianca in Pokemon Best Wishes. By the way, Eldrin, did you know that Erika Schroeder's name was misspelled in the credits of Sonic Rush? Well, not her actual name, but her other name, Bella Hudson. They ended up spelling Bella with two R's instead of two L's, so her name ends up looking like Bera Hudson. My best guess as to why this happened is because in Japanese, there's no true R or L sound. There is a Japanese hiragana letter ra that's basically a mix of the English L and R sound. So probably the person that wrote the credits were native Japanese and misspelled her name for that reason. Anyway, I just felt like I'd add that little tidbit in there. Wow, now that is a classic Sega moment. Her next voice actor was Laura Bailey, who voiced her from 2010 to 2016. Bailey's a very popular voice actor currently, and it actually surprised me she voiced Blaze as I didn't know that. She's also voiced Chun-Li in the Street Fighter games, Lucina in Fire Emblem Awakening, Nadine Ross in the Uncharted games, Gotenks in Kid Trunks in Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods, and even Omachao. And finally, her current voice actor on the English side being Erica Lindbeck, who started voicing her in 2019 till present as of this video. Lindbeck has also voiced Omachao, Black Cat in Spider-Man PS4, chi Lai in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, aka the best animated movie, Jericho in Seven Deadly Sins, and many more. As for the Japanese voice cast, like most of the JP Sonic crew, there's been very minimal changes, with only Nao Takamori voicing her since 2005 till present. Takamori has also been in quite a lot herself, with her voicing Wyvern in Bakugan Battle Brawlers, Kuma in Carried by the Wind, and Ino Aidamu in Wild Arms 4, just to name a few. Well guys, that's gonna be it. I wanna give a huge shout out to Samick for helping me out with this video. Make sure to check him out, as not only is he a great guy, but he makes a ton of killer Sonic content. I hope I was able to give you guys some cool facts and trivia to take away with this video. I found Blaze's evolution through her concept designs to what we know her as today incredibly interesting to take a look at. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Alright. That was the blazing development of Blaze the Cat. I like that video. And it was definitely interesting. And it's really interesting for all characters how they obviously have like lots of different designs that they could have chose choose from, and uh, and then they, they, I don't know. It's just really weird, you know. It's really weird how like those other designs that they showed could have been the final piece, you know. And that's the blaze that we have now would have looked very different, but it would have been really interesting because obviously you get really um, used to seeing. The character and you get used to that design and if you look at some other design you're like oh that's cool but nah i like blaze how it is now you know and uh, that is really d interesting uh but i liked it i like blaze the cat i, li I would like to see her more uh and uh, maybe something coming up soon probably nothing this year but hopefully something soon we have blaze the cat in that would be pretty damn cool but i like that video it was nice 
Uh, yeah, let me see. Let me see the comments. Uh, I heard a lot of things about Prime negative things. Yes, I, I don't know, man. There's a lot of negative things about everything. Uh, Blaze Heart, 2005, my birthday year. Uh, Cat, suffering from the reality that 2005 was almost 20 years ago. Oh my god. That means I'm almost 20, and yet people just know her as Silver's friend, thanks to 06. Come on now. No, that, that is no, no, that is bad. Uh, life is meaningful when you have friends. Wish I could say I had a friend in real life. Eh, friends are overrated, KR. You have you have us. Don't worry. We are we are your friends. Don't worry, KR. Don't worry. Uh, I hope they bring the Arabian clothes and clock uh, or cloak back, at least as alternate fits outfits. They suit her. That blaze we have now is great. But yeah, I like the variety sometimes. Yeah, I think if we if we're like in a different setting, like maybe let's just say they're in like. A desert setting or something like that then maybe her clothes would like I don't know if it would like automatically switch but that would be pretty cool if, if they had like a different outfit on that would be different that would be definitely cool but uh, yeah there are there are some really good designs out there definitely some really good designs out there uh, next up was a video on knuckles which was from Kirby but I don't know if Kirby's here but uh, oh I'll still watch. Yeah, I'll still watch this. But, uh, where is Kirby? Kirby just left. Was he right? Knuckles vs. Ari's Island. Thanks. No worries, KR. No worries. We got you, bro. We got you. Uh, yeah, let's watch uh, this and uh, yeah Ooh, a pizza ad don't do this to me man come on now okay come on come on ad please okay there we go Okay, let us watch this video. I'm trying to trying to see if the screen's up. Screen's up. All right, let's go. Not bad. Things would have been over faster if I'd been super knuckles. You did all right. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Okay, but what if he was onto something here? As the Knuckle Nation's global leader, I've decided to find out for myself. In order to do my independent research, I need to clear this whole island first. However, there's some problems in my way. Firstly, I need to navigate the island as Knuckles. This is probably the easiest step since Ares is strangely in sync with Knuckles' abilities. He can climb and glide and punch things just as the island wants. Though the challenge is going to come from upgrading Knuckles. You see, there's no XP for the other characters on the main islands, and I'm not able to do anything besides gliding and homing attacking. I can't even punch until I upgrade. Thankfully though, I installed the true Kronos mod, which added Knuckles XP to Ares. So instead of hacking the XP in, I've got to work for it. I'm gonna hunt down every Traveler Coco that's in random spots all over the map, and they're gonna grant me what I need. The issue is, I need a map to find them. And uh... Where are we? Oh yeah, that's right. Nowhere. So, that being said, I'm forced to do the challenges anyway just so I can see where I'm going. But hey, I'm down because problems create limitations, limitations need special solutions, and special solutions can be fun. Seriously, this gameplay loop is cool. Something you will immediately notice is that I've replaced the greatest Sonic character with the greatest Sonic character, Knuckles the Dread. This is a mod that I really wanted to exist for a long time, and it just didn't. Also, I have no upgrades. Instead of waiting, which rule of thumb, if you want a mod to be made, you probably shouldn't wait for someone else to do it. I've spent roughly like 30 hours just making Knuckles the Dread because I really liked that Amy had her own costume in her video. I figured everyone should have a funny little cool little costume. So I decided naturally as a normal decision you make at four in the morning. I'm gonna learn the entirety of model importing for this game in one night. 
And you know what? I got basically all of his model working properly in just two days. And then I spent four days trying to get his hands to work, and they only kind of did. Okay, cool thing. If you try doing wall jump with any of the other characters, you will crash the game. So word of advice, don't. So I have a trusty map with me that I'm gonna follow. Getting upgrades and actually being able to do things is gonna be a little bit more difficult. Or not. Maybe we'll just find a hitchhiker on the o oasis. Think we're gonna need some punching. You know what? Let's just get the basics. The stomp and the punch. So I can do stuff like this. Okay, I don't have a parry, so I actually have- Well, I can always start again. I don't have a parry, so I actually have to use uh, the dodge function. So, very easy for me to fuck up. Wait, what? Hold on, is this what I- this is perfect for Knuckles! Are you kidding me? I wonder how it's gonna deal with the, uh, with, with the strength and stat nerfs. Is that enough? It absolutely is. I absolutely refuse to use the mod that makes his ground pound a lot faster. Because that's what weenies do, and we ain't weenies around here. We play the game mostly as intended. I mean, they didn't intend Peak to be in the game, but <laughs> look where we are now, huh? Whoa! Okay, I'm down for that. That's a good start. Ooh, we got a group of them? Oh my fu- That's okay. One, two, three. Get them up in the air. Get a group of them to all hit the ground pound. So many of you are gone. Yeah, I can hit with the jump ball, idiot. How does it feel to be killed with the jump ball? Disgraceful. Where's the skill point dealer? I need him desperately. Ah, over here. Hey, what's up, pal? Oh, uh, this is so cool, the way that you can just mod things in areas where they don't have things. And you can do things in areas that were kind of bland before. That being said, I need you badly, Siloop. Oh, I'm one away from the move that carries every single action I do in this game. Say what you want about Sonic Prime, but man, they cook with character designs. Like, I'm not the world's number one strongest Sonic Prime fan or anything. I'm just the number one strongest Knuckles the Dread fan. I literally pillaged and plundered for this man to be in the game. Top 10 most satisfying things to do in this game. Getting rid of the water supply. <laughs> it's the sound effect, it's watching it shatter all over the place, it's knowing that I'm destroying property. I don't know, lots of good stuff to enjoy. Cool thing about Knuckles is that we're just allowed to go up here already. Yep, this is the boss arena. There's just something right about being able to glide over all of these chasms. Ooh, he's so raw with it. I don't even have any of the special moves yet, bro. You're getting cooked. I will not be caught dead using your dusty ass rings to get up there. I'll do it my way, the Knuckles way. This boss is even really scary as like fully upgraded Sonic because you hit one of these orbs, you're probably dead immediately. Okay, it, it's over. You're, you're just done, though, kid. Your career's over, fraud detected, surrender thine booty type shit, you know. Okay, I get it. I get it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. One hit and it's over. I don't even get to recover. Oh my, oh my god, I hate that they can switch sides like that. This is so, so, so annoying. Stop! Why are you moving so erratically? Uh, okay, that'll do it. My god, the amount of pressure I felt was so unnecessary. They moved psychotically. I've never seen them move like that as Sonic. I think it's because I was jumping off so much. See, that's why we do these kinds of things, man. That's why we do what we're not supposed to, because it opens up new gameplay experiences. And dare I even say it's fun. Or Eggman tech. Looks like he was planning a full invasion. So where is he? We miss you every day, man. Never okay. forget. Hero of Mobius. You know what? This one is significantly less weird. Because at least it's like an ancestor deal. Why are you breathing with your mouth? Man, this platform mod looks so good. The way it even like makes the climbable walls look like such a seamlessly new asset. 
Did you think I wanted to interact with the gameplay? No, I want to be Knuckles. I don't know what it is. Like, this is definitely the picture of Obama giving himself the medal, but I just love how his colors look on this island. That's the thing, like, there's so many good character designs that would just work so well as, like, a DLC skin. The Sonic Adventure 2 shoes were just the tip of the iceberg, but, like, where's my Sonic Prime tie-in DLC, you know? I gotta do everything around here? God bless the Sonic Boom scientists and their contributions to the Knuckles community. What the hell? I won't even lie, this scared the shit out of me. I was like, huh? But I'm... and you're... But no, the thing you always gotta remember is that these two are not the same. They're not the same person, so it works. It's allowed. Trust me. Source, me. Man, why the shot go kinda dummy though? My two faves in one place. Seriously though, like why do you keep breathing out of your mouth? You know what, whatever, this isn't characters. Oh, and I dodged into the gear? Who is this guy? And we're right here next to the buddy. I am gaming out of my mind today. Oh, hey fight that'll crash the game if I don't do it correctly. So I'm gonna have to switch to Sonic for some of these portions, but I'll be sure to switch to Dread during the combat. Because if I try doing that bungee thing, I will eat shit. No, oh, okay, okay, chill out, pal. I do love that it's on extreme mode too, because if I get hit by one of his rebounds like that, it's very easy for me to just get one-shotted. Something about that felt extremely right, getting the uppercut as the final hit. Ooh, 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 my favorite, my favorite! Oh, that kills you? Alright, let's try it again. No funny business this time, because I will laugh. Hey, 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 come on, man! No. Hey, okay, we're cool. Oh, come on, man, be cool. Be cool, be cool. Okay, sweet, we chillin'. Like, all of this was designed for Sonic, but how does it just fit so well with Knuckles' gameplay mechanics and animations, dude? Like, specifically the way climbing is designed on this island, too, properly feels like I'm actually scaling things. Probably a really good case in point right here. Ooh, that was kind of peak. I didn't even mean to hit you. That shit just looked really cool. Oh, the sheer motion that you can get of chaining Knuckles' moves. And speak of the devil, we got more combat challenges, which fits Knuckles so well. You sure this layout wasn't made for Knuckles? Again, you have a climbing challenge that actually feels like you're scaling things. And like clinging onto the side of a wall. Right after I just got a combat challenge. Like, it isn't just his island in the story, bro. It's his island in the gameplay as well. That momentum, it's mine. So I'm like pretty sure the Coco is here. He might be in the water. I'll be taking those, thank you. You forget, Dread was molded by the water, born in it even. He isn't going down to some H20. Ah, we got another Guardian to take down. That's another one that'll crash the game, so I gotta figure out how to do that. That's a, a self-imposed challenge I made for myself, that I wanted to defeat every Guardian, even if it crashed the game. I'll figure out a way. Man, these look so much more natural than, like, metal platform, especially because they got the little crystallized thing on the bottom, too. It fits the art style perfectly, very whimsical. The fact that I can just glide all the way up here and, like, admire the defenses just like Knuckles would! Oh my god! Can you fucking not right now? I'm having a moment. Apparently I can glide underwater. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be really fun to utilize with this glide, I swear. Like, I still gotta work to have these moments, you know? Come on, come on, come on, come on! Give it to me! Oh, my favorite segment of the island is coming up here. Oh, and I mean, like, if this isn't the perfect atmosphere for a treasure hunter, no? <laughs> like, dude, the way he glides through here, it just works perfectly! And then here we are in, in like, an actual temple as well. Hey, I found me some treasure. A Sonic Forces song. I do wonder how the escape sequence is gonna work. Is it gonna crash? Am I actually gonna be able to do this as Nugglos? I am not giving up what I quote-unquote stole. It is my right 
It was shiny. It's my right to keep it. <laughs> you can totally cheese it with gliding too. That's hilarious. Another reason why Ares is the best island in the game. You can see the Titan in the background, much like the other islands, except it's just flying menacingly. And you can see it at any point. Like, if you get any higher, you'll get way closer to the physical presence of it. It's so, so scary. And that's exactly why I love it. Like, the sense of scale in general on this island, dude. All the mountains that you can climb if you're specifically playing Knuckles, because, you know, <laughs> my man. Hey, pal. Doing well? He breathes with his mouth because he's using that nose to sneak out emeralds for us all the time. I do love this cutscene. It's one of the few times an NPC character gets to have an action moment. Oh wow, this looks a lot cooler because I have the, the No Cyber Ghost mod on as well. Yeah, he's just that strong in base form. What of it? The way I can just jump off of climbable surfaces and it gives me the proper momentum I need to go to where I'm trying to go. So, uh... You want to pull that chain down, or should I do it? I mean, we're basically the strongest characters in the whole canon, so it'll only take a few seconds. <laughs> he nodded at actual Knuckles. <laughs> we could drain the water. And I could get more skill points. Does he have a carry animation? Not exactly, but he's still getting it done. What a trooper. Let's go, Dread. I remember thinking you had to shoot the chain and not the obvious bullseye-shaped bullseye. God damn he thirsty! This boy been soaking it up in the desert for way too long! You can see him all the way down there in the cutscene. I'm coming for you, pal! I got you! Like, how creative to meticulously put all of these peddler cocos in very specific places. Being in the middle of this drain is like one of the coolest locations in the game for me, and I was always really bummed that there was actually nothing down here, no reward for getting down here. And this just makes my day, seeing one of these guys down here. And that's a crash. I got punished for not having my move come out in time by the game crashing. That game crash was on me. That's just a part of... Oh, I think I have to get one more upgrade before I can deal with this guy formally. And then I just use the momentum and then I glide over here. Just Knuckles things. You Sonic mains wouldn't understand. You see, when a Knuckles player wants something, they just go and get it. Are you kidding me? Why does this always happen? There seems to be one up here, which is really fascinating, because I don't think that's a place that you're normally supposed to get to as Sonic. Yeah, it's all the way up there. Man, I'm really playing a different game than when I was doing Amy on Kronos. So how am I doing this exactly? I might have to plug in my Wii U for extra research. They won't let me climb everywhere. Then I'll make it happen. Ooh, okay. Knuckles Gaming? Ooh, what can I say? Dread is the ancestor, and it just runs in the family. So usually I would just spin dash up here, but like I physically don't have the points to do that. So I have to resort to creative means. So close, so close, so close. Oh wait, no, wait, I hit land, I hit land. Oh, I can extend it. Oh, right in the crater. My pal, my friend, my boy, the real one. Now I can get the drill. And now I can drill people. Oh my god, he won't stop! <laughs> wait, wait, you okay? You good, bud? Oh no. It's like he just got lodged in there. Oh no, dread. It's okay, pal, we'll get through this. It's stuck in his head. He can't get off of even even if he wanted to. There he is, still running in the sky. Oh, it's so faithful to Sonic 3. Ah, now he's chasing him down by his own free will. Don't worry, guys, it's okay. He's got it handled, look. I can spin, too. Watch. There we go. Oh, he looks so cool charging up at that angle. It's peak. The premium Knuckles the Dread experience, brother. Just as Kishimoto intended. Oh, that was the perfect way to finish. <laughs> and I got a Starfall. Where's my gear? I've been scammed again. Wait, Starfall revived him instantly? Come on, dude. Good, good close up. All right, how am I gonna finish you this time? Maybe one of these? Works for me. 
Hey, little goblin baby. Me and the boys just rolling up on goblin baby again. Hey, remember earlier when I just completely invalidated any attack you could ever conjure up? Be gone. I just eviscerated her with my dread eyes. That's a secret attack he has. You wouldn't know, it's in season 3 of Sonic Prime. So apparently there's another little guy around here somewhere. Or so the trees have told me. Ah, there he is! I found him! I need power! Now! And even more conveniently, I think that bastard, yep, he's right over here. So I think my new plan is gonna involve a little bit of this to take care of my issues. Oh, I got you this time. Wait. Yeah, T-Post in the cutscene, sure. Oh, wow, you can still see the environment during that, I guess. Well, at least I didn't crash. Oh, all right, I'm gonna get the drop on him. That's not the drop. You telling me that did nothing? I kind of got him working in this cutscene. Let's go. Really? Okay, that's not how I planned on defeating you, but I guess my master plan worked. Just kidding. I'm coming down with you, Chief. There we go. That's what I've been trying to do this whole time, essentially. Have you always been able to loop him like this? I have never thought to loop him like this. Huh. I guess it is possible. Man. Why does the gliding skips just remind me of old classic Sonic games and being able to do this because I already know the level design so well? All of the most fun platforming segments in this game happen to be from Ares. Because there's the temples, there's this, which feels like a very traditional game, and then there's the other segment I also just finished. Like, bro, the way I can just show move around here. Like, come on, it's not even meant for Knuckles to be doing all this, but it just flows like water, man. And of course, we end it with Knuckles scaling a wall and then talking to Knuckles. There is another sumo here, and I don't need to fight him, but it might be fun. But real quick, I need to do my Sonic Boom dailies. What's up, big nuts? I kind of want to Psy Knuckle him and see what happens. <laughs> it gives him the belly. Oh god. Wait, that actually hit him when I was gliding? Sick. I blew myself up, I guess. Wow, that actually hurts him. Trying to get creative here. Knuckles looks so cool when he's like charging up and there's fire all around him. And the game crashed. Uh, okay. I'm fine with it. I see no problems if you know. Here they are, my science experiments. What am I experimenting on? Combos. Your honor? It's peak. So, usually we'd have to solve a puzzle, but I don't really think that's a Knuckles the Echidna thing. I think that's a Sonic when he's forced for story reasons thing. I much prefer the direct approach. Just like Giganto, there's a trigger in here somewhere. Ah, I found it! That kind of jump scared me, I didn't actually expect to get it. And for some reason, they have a bunch of different, like, platforming segments. If you're, like, all the way over here. I don't really know why they felt the need to make all this, but... Why not? Good opportunity to utilize it. And that's how we're climbing this tower, I guess. That was much cooler. Wow, I didn't expect him to work here. Uh, also, he doesn't really have, like, squid physics. I can, like, turn him in a full 360 degrees. <laughs> oh no. Uh, good thing he could glide, because that would have been a problem. I do have to be very careful about the energy bullets, though. Okay. 
Wait. Hello? He's a little confused, but his heart's in the right place. The moment we've been waiting for. Let's get this over quicker than Sonic ever could, huh? Super Knuckles is canon, by the way. I don't care what anybody says. What Sega says, what, what Takashi Izuka says, get out of here, weenie. Listen, all I'm saying is when you're the protector of the Master Emerald, you pick up a few tricks along the way. God damn, these Final Horizon buffs made Knuckles OP. He's doing shit I never thought he could. Even in the comics! Fuck out of here. By the way, Ares best island, Knuckles best character, Wyvern best boss fight. Break through it all, best song. Oh hey, and would you look at that? Best Psyluke chain animation. You getting your ass beat, bruh! Fight back! Do something! Oh please, let me rearrange them for you. Nice and tidy. And that should do her. I don't know, guys. I don't think he was bluffing. You see that mash timing? He's kind of strong as hell. Very brave of Kishimoto to realize that Ian was cooking with that line. And he updated the game to make this real. I guess Knuckles isn't the only goat. Don't worry, man. We'll get you a spin-off game one day. I bet. He got his wish. Knuckles and Knuckles. Oh, this is gonna look so cool when he charges up. Ooh. So I guess we'll meet back here for Tails. Bruh. That looks so good with the Starfall happening right now. Wow, really good weather RNG. Alright. How was that? <laughs> Interesting video. But uh, that, that is what mods are for, making everything definitely a lot more interesting. Uh, I hear that Riders OST, my battery died, I'm back for now. Who suggested this video? Kirby, welcome back, Sean. And yes, Kirby did suggest that video that we just watched. Hey G, hello Omega, how is it going? How is it going? We're actually watching a, like a Mega Man and Sonic video, so you came at the right time. <laughs> you came at the right time, Omega. Uh, we're watching. Let's look at Mega Man and Sonic in Smash Bros. Ultimate. So uh, let's let's watch this. The follow. Oops. Okay. Just for you, buddy. Yes, Sean giving Omega what he wants. That Mega Man content. Let us see uh, if my screen is up. Okay, there we go. Let's see what uh, this video has in store for us. The following video you're about to watch may contain coarse language and mature subject matter, which may be inappropriate for all ages. Viewer discretion is advised. The last time I talked about Super Smash Bros., there had only been a very small teaser for the next game in the series, and I wondered if my favorite duo were gonna make the cut. Who knows? Maybe Sonic and Mega Man would be left behind. After all, Solid Snake didn't appear in the Wii U game. When it comes to characters that don't belong to Nintendo, their absence was always a possibility. But come E3 2018, Smash Brothers would make its return with Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. And it kicked off its presentation by revealing which characters were coming back. And surprise! Holy fucking shit! They weren't kidding! Every single fighter that has ever been in a Super Smash Bros. game was back. Pichu from Melee, Wolf and Snake from Brawl, and of course, the two stars of the video are Blue Boys, Sonic and Mega Man. The Blue Blur and the Blue Bomber back together again. Hey, they got the name right this time. Needless to say, I was very happy. 
Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the definitive entry. This game is jam-packed with so much content that it literally features over 100 stages spanning the entire series history, from Nintendo 64 all the way to today. And that is incredible! I don't think people really understand just how goddamn lucky we are that this game exists. The other day on Twitter, I posted screenshots of Brawl's roster and stages, and everyone was like, Wow, that's so small. <laughs> that was huge at the time! We are so spoiled, oh my god. Now, if I were to talk about the entire package, I'd be here all day. Again, this is not a general review of the game, it's part of my Sonic and Mega Man retrospectives. I've played practically every entry of these two franchises on my channel, and this video exists mainly to gush about how they were treated in the greatest fighting game of all time. Spoiler, Mega Man is still my main. He's so good! So without further ado, let's get into it. What you need to know about the duo is that they play pretty identical to how they always did, and so I don't feel the need to cover old ground and gush about the fact that Mega Man is using Leaf Shield or whatever. I am going to talk about their differences from previous games, but you know what you're getting with them for the most part. But I do like a majority of the changes that were made to them. For one thing, Mega Man's Flame Sword got a major buff. In Smash Wii U, the Flame Sword was good at giving damage, but it wasn't really much of a launching move. In fact, back in the last game, anytime I wanted to KO someone who was jumping back to the platforms, I usually liked facing the other direction and jumping backwards to perform the much more effective Slash Claw. In Smash Ultimate, however, the Flame Sword is pretty much just as strong as the Slash Claw, so now I don't need to set Mega Man up in a weird way in order to interrupt fighters and destroy them. Love it. I really like what they did with Sonic's homing attack. In previous games, pushing the special button always made Sonic float in the air for a second before automatically launching ahead to hit whatever was in front of him. And that's all there was to it. In Smash Ultimate, they decided to give the player a little more control over it. Now you can actually launch Sonic a lot quicker to instantaneously deliver damage and keep the fight going, or, you can just hold Sonic in the air as long as possible, making sure that you time it after someone's in vulnerability state. Having control over the homing attack like this is so satisfying. Also, a thing I notice is that Sonic's running attack has changed from curling into a ball to just delivering a straight up kick. I'm not sure if people hate this. Keep in mind when I do these videos, I'm not a fighting game expert. I'm a filthy casual. I don't know who's top tier, or whether their frame data is worse, or whatever. I'm just telling you how I feel. And I feel that the Crash Bomber should still launch people at high percentages. But alas, in Smash Ultimate, it is still weak. I'm just saying, it seems a little unfair that Snake C4 can kill at 120%. That Sheik's suck-in bombs can kill at 120%. But Mega Man's Crash Bombs? The thing that only had seven shots in the original Mega Man 2? Nope! Anywho, they also changed up the final smashes. In Brawl and Wii U, Super Sonic was completely manually controlled, and some would argue it was one of the most broken final smashes, as it lasted pretty long, and it was really easy to just juggle people off screen. In Ultimate, Super Sonic goes ridiculously fast, zipping back and forth on screen, dealing out damage to anyone who gets in the way. You can kind of angle Sonic and control how high his pathway is, but you can't just single someone out and follow them this time around, which I'm fine with. As for Mega Man's Black Hole Bomb, it basically plays out exactly the same, except what's this? Oh hey, Proto Man and Base have jumped in this time to help out all the Mega Men. Maybe the Final Smash does extra damage, maybe it doesn't, but still, you suck them up, they get lasered. It's still cool as hell, and really hype. I mean, Mega Man is still my main fighter. I just love using him. Whether it's blowing people away with the air shooter... Yeah. ...or knocking them into oblivion with the Mega Upper. He is just too damn fun. When it comes to the stages, like I said, we basically have over 100, with the majority of them being returning stages. And that's definitely the case with Sonic and Mega Man. Returning from Brawl is Green Hill Zone, complete with the collapsing ground as well as Tails, Knuckles, and Silver running around in the background. But if you want something a little more recent, then instead you can fight in the Windy Hill stage from Smash Wii U. 
Still very wide, still has the rotating windmill. These stages are exactly as you remember them. Mega Man still only has the one stage, and it's once again Wily Castle from Mega Man 2. Though it has been tweaked a little bit to include the platforms and conveyors from both the Wii U version as well as the 3DS version. And yes, it still has the Yellow Devil show up to be a nuisance. But good news for those who might have hated dealing with him. In Smash Bros. Ultimate, there's actually a toggle to get rid of stage hazards. So if you want Yellow Devil to stay home, there's your option. Also, every single stage has three variants. The regular stage, the Omega version, and new to Ultimate is the Battlefield variation. So if you just want the simplicity of four platforms, but with a Green Hill aesthetic, then that's always an option for you. And these stages have tons of classic music to jam to, and oh my lord, you remember when I gushed about Smash Wii U having almost 500 music tracks? This game has over 900 music tracks! 900! What the fuck? How does this much content fit inside this tiny ass cartridge? Nintendo's gotta be performing satanic rituals to do this, I swear. But oh my god, Mega Man has a ton of new remixes. Not only do they bring back the remixes from the last title, but now there are 17 new remixes. Christ! Sakurai must really love Mega Man. My personal favorite is the Mega Man 4 medley. Why? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because it's composed by Jun Sonoy, the guy responsible for all of the rock anthems of the Sonic Adventure games? This is Sonic meeting Mega Man right here. But speaking of Sonic, unfortunately, there are still no new remixes for the series. It's so lonely seeing the one blue icon with the Angel Island track among all this nothing. And I don't understand. Sega clearly has a good relationship with Nintendo. They do Mario and Sonic, so what's going on here? I mean, at least I can fight to Studioopolis from Sonic Mania. And Sunset Heights from Sonic Forces. I mean, Park Avenue is way better than Sunset Heights, but whatever. I mean, I guess I should be thankful that Sonic isn't treated like Final Fantasy. How the hell do you only let them have two songs from Final Fantasy VII? But I digress. The game also features assist trophies once again, and this time around, Sonic and Mega Man each have two of them. The only returning one is Shadow the Hedgehog, performing Chaos Control, and hoo boy, I think people were pissed to see him doing that again. See, at E3, they introduced the concept of Echo Fighters. Basically, duplicate characters who are modeled after another, but with a few slight changes. So Pit and Dark Pit, Martha and Lucina, Peach and Daisy. Everyone was so sure that Shadow was going to be an Echo Fighter. He's gotta be. It would be amazing. But no. <laughs> he still just pops in to slow down time. Although they did give him a Chaos Emerald this time around, and that's good. After all, he shouldn't be able to do Chaos Control without it. So yeah, good attention to detail. But we do have a new Sonic assist with our main man Knuckles the Echidna, who burrows through the ground and tries to attack everyone. 
Heck, Knuckles even does a homing attack, which, you know, he has done before in the Sonic Rivals games. But still, I look at his animations and I think, now that's an Echo Fighter. On the Mega Man side, they actually ditched Elec Man. Yeah, really, I thought they were just going to carry that over from Smash Wii U, but instead we have two completely new ones. From the year 21XX, we got Zero coming in to slash some fools up. And it's great because he actually does all the stuff you would recognize. The dashing, the flaming Ryunjin, the jumping buzzsaw attack, it's all awesome to see him do. Hell, Zero could have been an awesome Smash fighter himself. He looks so badass. And finally, we have my favorite assist trophy in the form of Dr. Wily. And he actually pops into the fight driving Wily Capsule 7 from Mega Man 7, complete with those asshole homing energy balls that might shock, freeze, or burn you. He even teleports around with the hand grasping the curtain. Oh, it's so good! And by the way, assist trophies can actually be fought back this time. So if they're annoying you too much, you can actually try taking them out. And if you defeat Dr. Wily, his capsule explodes, he falls out, and he begs for forgiveness. Amazing. Please forgive me! But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to talk about when it comes to the usual stuff. You may be asking, well, where are the trophies that every game has? No trophies this time around. And while I will miss looking at these fantastic figurines, they basically have been replaced by the spirit system. A system made for Smash Ultimate Story Mode. Oh yeah, this game has a plot. One of my favorite things about Brawl was that it basically took this fighting game and transformed it into a side-scroller beat-em-up with the occasional fun cutscene to justify what's going on. And while this game's World of Light isn't quite the same, it does continue where Brawl's story left off, with our heroes peering over a cliff during the sunset. Don't let a single one get away! It seems there's a new big bad in the Smash Brothers universe known as Galeem, a terrifying being of light who notices that everyone is here. Well, now it's time for everyone to be dead. This has been the most extraordinary experience of my entire life. Are you ready? kills everybody and that includes our blue boys oh no sonic i'm supposed to be the fastest but i was too slow to save my buddy <laughs> mega man is killed off screen as well i would have figured he was good at dodging lasers after quick man but it's not just the fighters all beings in the universe get taken out even the random npcs tails is dead Proto Man is dead, Eggman's dead, Wily's dead, everyone is dead! Except for one. Everyone's favorite pink puffball, Kirby, manages to phase out of existence and escape Galeem's wrath, leaving himself as the sole survivor. And that's where the story mode begins. You actually start off only as Kirby and have to find all of the other Smash characters in order to take down Galeem and his boss minions. But of course, you're going to have to fight things along the way, and Galeem has spent all this time putting the spirits of every dead person into custom duplicates of the Smash roster. So you're not fighting Sigma, you're fighting Ganondorf with Sigma's spirit inside of him. And these battles come with a lot of gimmick situations, such as lava platforms that will burn you, maybe the characters turn to metal, or maybe it's just straight up an endurance test. So in order to stand a chance, you have to equip all of the spirits that you save along the way to help turn the tide in your favor, as they can give bonus effects and enhance your strength. It's basically a better implementation of the sticker system that was in Brawl. Also, I can't believe even in 2008, Classic Sonic was a term. Brawl predates Sonic Generations, so yeah, that's kind of neat. But some of the battles you have to do to unlock these spirits are so fun and creative, and your enjoyment really gets enhanced if you know anything about the source material. Take Tron Bon, for example. Her battle has her occupying the body of Wendy Koopa, who is a lady that pilots a small mech machine. Kinda like the Gustav. And in the battle itself, Wendy is assisted by two tiny Rob the Robots, who all happen to have a yellow color scheme. Tiny yellow robots, eh? Bam! The Robs are servbots. That's brilliant! 
Hell, even the location being the Wii Sports Resort kinda resembles a Legends location like Catalox Island. You battle Chaos, and he's represented by a metal inkling. Why inkling? Because they turn into puddles, just like the God of Destruction. And they fight in a city during nighttime. Hmm. You fight Snake Man, and he's represented by, well, Snake. <laughs> and the only item that spawns in are Bomb Shoes, which ride along walls and ceilings, much like the Search Snake weapon does in Mega Man 3. You fight Amy, and she's a pink inkling who only uses hammers. You fight Zero, and he's played by a red Zero Suit Samus wielding a beam saber. You fight Dr. Eggman, and he's Roy Koopa with a metal Sonic assisting him, and the fight randomly drops in bombs every now and then. Much like how Angel Island was bombed to oblivion in Sonic 3. In the Dr. Wily fight, you actually take on eight Mega Men, or eight Robot Masters, before finishing off Dr. Mario. In the Infinite fight, he actually turns the camera upside down, much like he did to the Rookie in Sonic Forces. But by far, my favorite spirit battle is with Roll Casket. She's played by Isabel wearing a red cardigan. She's assisted by a tiny Diddy Con who's using the white color. A white monkey! Boom! Diddy is Data. The stage takes place in the Pilot Wings area, where a plane flies over a solitary island in the ocean. Boom! That's Catalox Island. But it gets even better. This fight only has one item spawn in. The Pikmin Hakatate Rocket. It's basically a rocket that heads directly into the sky and then falls down shortly after to blow up whatever's underneath it. I want to repeat that. It's a rocket that doesn't make it to outer space and instead falls back down. In this Mega Man Legend stage, roll using rockets that don't go to the moon. Holy fuck, Sakurai! The reference game in Smash Ultimate is way too strong. I can't believe that you actually fight the Werehog in Luigi's Mansion. That is absolutely a callback to the Night of the Werehog short where they went through a spooky mansion and found ghosts. Like, oh my god, Jesus Christ. And these are only two franchises. It's something else, man. It's something else. These spirits are divided into primary and support spirits. And you can even level up the primaries to make them stronger. Although, even if Infinite is at level 99, he still sucks. I am not weak. I am not weak. I am not weak! And certain spirits will actually upgrade into a better spirit if they reach level 99. So Zero with the Zero Buster can become Zero with the Z Saber. Or you can level up a Chow and transform it into a Hero Chow. Oh my god, the World of Light is secretly a Chow Garden. <laughs> Now one might ask questions about the spirits, like, why are there three spirits for Sonic? Are you saying that regular Sonic is a different person from Super Sonic, who is a different person from Sonic the Werehog? Or that Mega Man Zero Zero is different from the regular Zero? Why are the Chaotix one spirit instead of the three spirits that they should be? Look, it's a freaking video game, what do you want? <laughs> I'm just happy that there is a spirit for Model X of the ZX series. That Dr. Eggman is one of the best grappler spirits in the game. And I'll never stop using him. Hey, if Eggman possesses Mega Man, would that make him Mutt Egga Man from the Archie crossover? That's my headcanon anyway. Either way, the World of Light is very big and there are over a thousand spirits to obtain in the game. Seriously, you're not going to beat this in like three hours. If you want to beat the game story mode, you're dedicating over 30 to 40 hours to this thing. It goes on forever. And if I did have to make one criticism about it, then it would have to be that certain characters take forever to unlock. You're not going to be playing as Sonic the Hedgehog until you're more than halfway through the game. And that's a little inexcusable. It would have been better if instead of unlocking specific characters, you just unlocked the ability to get whatever character you wanted. That way, after the initial four battles that Kirby has to do, I can just play the rest of the game as Mega Man or Bayonetta or whoever I want to be. But it doesn't quite work that way, unfortunately. Still, you get to have some fun boss fights every now and then. Now I can beat Ocarina of Time's Ganon with Mega Man. Now I can be a monster hunter with Sonic the Hedgehog. 
Do you know how fucking surreal it is to be battling Dracula inside Castlevania with the blue blur? I can homing attack Dracula in the back of his head! And then you take on Big Bad Galeem and knock him down a peg, only for a second evil force to show itself. You enjoyed the world of light? Well, now it's time to go into the world of dark to battle with the evil Darkon. Seriously, this campaign goes on forever. The story eventually ends with Galeem and Darkon battling each other, as well as you, in one of the most satisfying climactic Smash Brothers stages ever. I don't know, man, there's something about climbing up to battle these two gods as Sonic and Mega Man, while this incredible choir and orchestral music blast in the background. I loved this final level so much. And ultimately, video games' greatest heroes prevail. The evil forces are defeated, the world returns to normal, and the spirits presumably go back into their own bodies. But not after creating one hell of a life stream. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. The definitive Smash Bros. game. Like, holy shit, what an achievement. Even ignoring the complete roster, all of the 100 stages, the fan service and its story mode, it just feels like the best game in the series. It's much faster than Smash Wii U, the game has aerial dodging just like Melee, and the slowdown that occurs during final hits delivers some of the most hype matches you will ever play. The roster! I mean, Jesus! People wanted Ridley? Well, guess what? Ridley's in the game. You wanted Crom? Crom's in the game. For more than a decade, I wanted Simon Belmont to join the cast, and I fucking got Simon Belmont! Ah! Ultimate is just perfection. It's the culmination of everything this series has meant to me since I was in junior high. In high school, there were two games me and my friends played religiously. One was Halo, and the other was Super Smash Bros. Melee. Then we played Brawl and Smash Wii U, and today that spirit is still very much alive. Every time I meet up with my friends, we play Smash Ultimate like we did Melee all those years ago. This series has always been there for us, and that's a kind of warmth and nostalgia that I don't think can ever be topped. And it's still not over! We're still getting new DLC characters for this game! That's how Sonic can fight Persona 5's Joker, or reunite with Banjo and Kazooie. The hype train is still going. We're never gonna have a bad time ever again. Unless we fight Sans from Undertale. So, do I think you should play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? No contest. I mean, come on. It's one of the best Nintendo games I have ever played. I don't see how a sequel to this game could top it, honestly. So yeah, guys, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is perfection. I love it to death, and I know that I'm still going to be playing the hell out of it for years to come. Coming up next in the Sonic Retrospective, it's time to put the pedal to the metal as we hit the road again in Team Sonic Racing. See you then. All right. Well then, seems like uh, seems like a fun story, an in interesting story as well. Uh, all hail blue team, yes sir. Oh yeah, there's a Mega Man remix by Jun Sunu in here. Spirits kind of suck. World of Light was such a step down from Subspace um, a Messery. Uh, Mega Man plus Eggman equals Mega Mind. <laughs> you're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right, we'll check a bit of music out, and uh, does seem like we're we're getting down to the what is it called? Uh, I forgot what the thing is called. Final boss was cool. Not gonna lie, it did look pretty cool. It did. It did. All right, Palm Tree, Panic, B Mix, Sonic the Hedgehog, C D O S T. Let's uh, listen to this song.
me like the song me like me like me like it, it was good it was good uh why is what why why can't i see the comments what the heck hello okay that's weird okay there we go Okay, next song up. That was Collision Chaos B Mix from Sonic the Hedgehog CD. Sonic CD is actually really nice, man. Sonic CD has some good music. Me like, me like. Uh, which one is it? Okay, Title Tempest Present. Present? Okay, I think it's this one. Uh, okay, you guys got some more suggestions. I'll listen to that too. Uh, you look tired, my guy. I, I'm not tired. I'm not. I'm not exactly tired. It's just uh, I am getting a bit hungry now. <laughs> I want some food, <laughs> even though I did eat, but it wasn't enough. So that's why probably I, that's why I looked a bit tired. But I'm good. I'm good. No worries. Uh, title Tempest, Sonic the Hedgehog CD. 
Let us see. Why is there this is USA version 2? Okay, anyways, let's just check this out. good honestly that was actually really good like i don't know what it was but I, I really enjoyed that bro it made me feel something a bit more that was nice that was nice uh next up was quartz i think it was hold on let me see quartz quartz quadrant b mix that is up next and then we have a couple more from you guys Okay, get some food soon, bro. We will. I will soon. I will soon. I will. I will. After the stream, you know I'll be in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, I know I'm not tired, not sleep-wise, though. More like life-wise. No need to be tired life-wise either. We got Sonic Boom coming up soon. <laughs> don't don't worry. Sonic Boom will will heal heal any any injuries. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Uh, Quartz Quadrant B Mix Sonic the Hedgehog CD. Let's check out some more Sonic the Hedgehog CD. I li I'm liking it so far, honestly. Sonic CD has some really damn good music. And I know I say that pretty much for every single Sonic song we check out. But uh, look, they, <laughs> Sonic CD is pretty underrated, okay? That's all I have to say. I I'm liking I'm liking the instrumentals. I'm liking it. So let's just keep going.
Okay, another pretty solid song. That was a bit more fast paced and a little bit, a bit more hectic as well. Uh, next up, we have a song from Sean, which was Red Hot Skull from Sonic Adventure. So let's check this out. Oops, I was, I was supposed to put the screen down. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Red Hot Skull from Red Mountain Sonic Adventure. Let's uh, let's check this uh, song out.
right. That was Red Hot Skull, Red Mountain. Pretty good. That was pretty good. I like the I like the the guitars. The guitar band. I think it's a electric guitar if I'm not mistaken. No, that, that went really damn off. That person was just going crazy on that song pretty much. Uh, but the music was really good. I liked it. I liked it. Next up is a song from I believe it was yes, okay, Cliffside uh, Blizzard and Snow Peaky from Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. That is the next song. Oops. Okay, I think it's this. Yeah, I think it's this one. Okay. Oops. Oh, okay, hold on, give me a second, man. Oh god, okay. Let's check this song out. Okay, here we go. <laughs>
so you think you Bro, know which. Why does it abruptly end? I swear, every single Sonic Boom song we've checked out just ends out of nowhere. <laughs> why? Why? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just like, uh, you, oh, you're enjoying the song? Mm, no. Well, it's over now, so too bad. I don't know why it does that. It should probably have like an ending or a proper ending at least, but nope. It just abruptly is like, you know what? F you, bro. <laughs> you're, not, you're, not getting, you're not getting a proper ending to the song. Oh, God. Okay, where were we now? Okay. Yeah, okay. Where were we with the comments? Too many bangers to save the future, sorry. I have a bias towards the bad future songs. Clearly, that's uh, that's fine. Uh, but I can balance it out with the Stardust Future G mix. Contraining you fight Metal, Son Metal Sonic and Stardust Speedway, bad future in generations. Does that mean the bad ending to the game is canon, right? I like how sample used here to get used in Ratchet and Clack on PS2. My comfort series might actually play Fire Nights after stream. It do be sounding like snow level music. Ads love your streams, G. Uh, I do make a thing. I, I, I make it like the least ads possible. So I, I'll try, I try to help you guys out. <laughs> uh, nice. Uh, but there is one that don't abruptly end on YouTube. At least add a fade. Yeah, that's, that's what I was looking for. Uh, like a fade ending. G, before you end, then suggest those, bro. Uh, he made a song for Sonic 3. Go check it out. Games Cage. I think we checked it out. I didn't suggest that one that... No, that's okay. Okay, all right. I got you. I got you. I know. I chose the video. I chose the video. But I'm just like, every single video I choose for Sonic Boom, it just ends out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, that's why it was just funny. But I, I don't mind. I, I, I really don't mind, bro. It's just, okay, cool, you know? Um, oh, you all checked it out already. I'm pretty sure it was the, the funny song that he made, right? Wisp on my D is the first video we did. Yeah, that was the first video we did. Oh, my God. It was, <laughs> it was really funny. It was the first thing that we watched. It was, it was very interesting. It was very interesting. Wisp on my D. Oh, my God. I might need to come out with a two and two now. Uh, I might need to, bro. I'm just saying. I might need to cook up in the stew and make a song. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, okay. But it was good, though. It was good. It was good. I liked it. I liked it. You are correct. It was a good song. I did like it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it was a good song. It was a good song. It was just... I, I'm just, I always get... I always get just, like, kind of thrown back when it automatically just ends. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, I gotta ask him what that even means. He didn't elaborate in the song. Uh, you should be a songwriter, producer, G. One day, one day. Don't worry, Omega. I'll come out with some heat one day. <laughs> I don't know when that day is, but we'll find a day. Don't worry. We'll find one day in the future to become to become a songwriter. Uh, maybe one day get to work with Nate and Sean Records. Who, who knows? Who knows? I'm just saying, bro. Never say never, you know. I gotta quote Justin Bieber. <laughs> Never say never. Uh, Metallic Madness B mix a Sonic the Hedgehog CD. Let's check this out. Let's go. 
All right, that was really good, but really interesting vocals. Uh, obviously, that laugh going on, uh, and even just the vocals in general, really interesting. But I liked it. It was a nice song. It was a nice song. Uh, let's let me see the song, the the, the comments. Uh, maybe Kid Roy is more open than Justin. JB is retiring soon. Yeah, I'm guessing that Justin Bieber will probably retire soon. Not not right now, but maybe sometime in the future, uh, near future. Uh, maybe one day you could collaborate with Post Malone. <laughs> Again, never say never, huh? <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to get that big, but uh, uh, hey, maybe one day. You never know. You just never know. Uh, did it say Stardust Future? I meant Stardust Speedway. Oh, okay, okay. Spar Stardust Speedway, okay. Well, that will be the last song for today. So let me find it. Stardust Speedway. Uh, Maria's getting shot. Maria's getting shot. Yep, pretty much. Why am I getting Halloween level vibes from this? Is it just me or is that, that laugh probably giving me those vibes? I can see that. I, I, I could see like a Halloween, Halloweenish type of vibe. Uh, I like how they have this soon taunting, the song taunting the player in a language most players in the intended market can't understand. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the song though. You want to see? I like the song. All right. Um, was it from Sonic um, Generations, the, sp the song you were talking about, or Sonic CD you were talking about um, for for the last song? There's Why is there so many? There's, like, there's one from Sonic Mania. There's one from Sonic CD. There's one from Sonic Generations. What the hell, bro? <laughs> which, which one? Okay, CD. Okay, I, I thought so. I thought so. We were kind of going down the CD path. All right, let me find the CD version now. There it is, okay. It's G-Mix. I don't see any G-Mix. It says B-Mix. Is, is it B-Mix or G-Mix? Because I see one that says B-Mix, but let me find G-Mix, I guess. G-Mix. Oh, G-Mix. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, I see it. I see it. Okay, I got you. I got you. Most of these remixes are bad, are bad features. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, I, I got the G-Mix. I found it, I found it. It's not B-Mix. Okay, I got you, I got you. Don't worry.
beautiful. That was beautiful. That was so good. That was so good, bro. I love that. That was so good. Just the starting, the way that that started. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Me like. Me like, me like. Okay, well. That was that. I loved it. Good, good, good. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, let me see what you guys have saying. I hear Zordon want to do covers of Sonic songs soon. Next week, I'll try to do some Sonic R and Spinball. Maybe some more Freedom Planet sounds good cheese. Me like it. Me like. Me like. Me like. Me like. Me like for sure, bro. That song, bro. That was... And that made me happy, honestly. <laughs> Listening to that, just it just made me happy. It, it, I, yeah, I don't know what it was, but I loved it. I loved it. Time to put put this comment out there. There we go. Cat. Cat, cat, cat. So for this week, another four requests, G. I don't know about four, but I'll, I'll try, Omega. Do let me know and I'll, I'll pick and choose, let's just say. But I'll, I'll try, I'll try. But after the stream ends, just... Uh, um send a comment and i'll i'll try to see hey curious are you any good with the rifles oh my god cheese what did you send <laughs> oh god okay uh since you like zb1 and anteam that makes it two for your separate reactions yes i do like them that sounds good I'll, i am willing to check more of them out uh, my other two is all time low and probably a new Soko Swaco Swaco song soon. Hey, mind if I get a request in this week? I do not mind. Kr, let me know. What do you What do you want? Obviously, after the stream, please, please do, <laughs> please do leave a comment after the stream so I can just look back and and remember. Uh, so I did ask Kr, what did you think of season four of Sonic for Hire? Exactly, that is the, that is a, a big big question that we did not ask today. I have to say I like I like Sonic for High Honestly, the, I like I'm liking the plot. I am liking the plot. Kr Kr making a comeback. Kr or not Kr sorry Tails. <laughs> Why did I just say Kr? I all I think is Kr Tails or just one now. Tails making a comeback and becoming a boss, becoming rich and famous, and uh, yeah, it's it's nice. It's nice to see this new plot, this new plot that is happening. I really don't know how to pronounce Waco name, but I still can't believe he's the same guy from the Speed Me Up. His rock songs are really good, not lie. Yeah, they are good. It wasn't that bad, K, good to know. We're liking the new series, Sean, don't worry. We're, we're liking the new Sonic for Hire series. See, Sean has some bangers, bro, from Sonic Zombies to Sonic for Hire. Just Sean got them recommendations, bro. He got them. He got the souls. He got the souls. And yeah, it's pretty damn good, I have to say. Alright then. Yeah, okay. Let's just put a little a little dab in there. Everyone here knows how to fire the stream up. I agree, I agree. Uh, I'm getting ready for them to make Sonic Boom is bad jokes at a later season, but I'm kind of used to it at this point. I don't think they will. I, but have they already? I don't even know. Have they? I think I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. Have they? I don't know. I can't remember. I think I dropped out of watching Sonic for Hire around this point back then. That's fair. Well, we'll we'll keep, we'll uh, <laughs> continue that journey uh, with uh, with a lot of more friends now. Don't worry, cheese. We'll, we'll get back and watch number five. And I don't even know how many there are, but but I like them. I like them. Hopefully, it doesn't end anytime soon. But we'll continue where you to where you left off, cheese. <laughs> that intro has the power to make you ascend. I agree with that. I agree. The most grooviest Stardust Speedway.
Do you asked before about Five Summers bands yesterday? They did a collab song with One Rock before. Oh, might need to check that out someday then. If anything, they make fun of Unleashed in season five, and it's my favorite season. And that's uh, Sean's one of uh, one of Sean's I know favorite favorite games as well from Sonic Unleashed. So, if they're making jokes about his favorite game, and it's his favorite season, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, and lead singer of all time low also did a song with all well, what the heck how would i not see this oh my god <laughs> how have i how have i not checked these out and uh, yeah i need to check out more 1k okay rock it's been so long it has been so so long since i've checked 1k okay rock we'll get back to them soon uh but if you want i can make one last suggestion like a minute long sure sure but let me know I'm guessing it's going to be talking about Sonic Boom now, isn't it, Sean? <laughs> the DLC in Sonic Unleashed is torture. I just finding out too, lol. Okay, okay, I got you. I got you. Omega is just giving me the updates as he gets the updates. I got you. Uh, but yeah, let me know, Sean, what the last recommendation is. Uh, because there's other songs features the singer's name. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. Maybe for another week for OOR. Yeah, but we'll check them out soon. We'll check them out soon. Sonic Boom uh, redesigns by this person. Okay. A quick little short. We'll watch this. And then we'll end things off for today. So let me quickly watch this. Sonic Boom redesigns by Animated James. Alright, let's see this. Let me pause the volume. Act. Oh, oh, never mind. YouTube has an ad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I've seen this video, Sean. <laughs> uh, if Spirit Box dares collab with OOR, that would be pretty damn cool. That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Well, let's see what this is about then. Huh, not bad. Well, what do you think? Wow, Amy, I'm liking your new design. Hell, I just might ask you out. Really? No. I mean, we might all look different, and I might have this scarf that kind of makes me look like that homicidal maniac from Uncharted, but I'm still going to be a complete and total douche. Mainly towards you. Tails, looking good. Did we all break our legs? Like, why are they making us wear all these bandages on our limbs? Apparently it's supposed to be sports tape, because that's totally necessary now for some reason. I mean, I think it makes us look pretty badass. Yeah, about as badass as a yellow fox, a blue hedgehog, a pink token female character... Screw you! ...and a red echidna can be. In fact, is Knuckles done with his redesign yet? Um, Knuckles? Yeah? Didn't you ever watch that after-school special about how dangerous it is to take steroids? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. This is just so I look like the big, strong, tough guy I'm supposed to be. <laughs> look, you can tell he's been taking steroids. His dick and balls are totally gone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I never had those to begin with. Wait a minute, you never had those to begin with either! Yeah, but I'm not the big, strong, tough guy, now am I? <laughs> okay. Well, that's boring. <laughs> that's slightly less boring. Okay then. That was nice. A nice little video. Uh. Same here, cheese, yeah, okay, well, that was nice. A pink token female character, screw you, okay. <laughs> Knuckles redesign makes sense when you realize Sonic Boom is Sega's response to the average Avengers, and he's supposed to be the Hulk. Heck, I might ask you out, really? No. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was nice. Yeah, and then... At least she gets rejected. Sonic's like, Tails, looking good. She's like, why can't I get that? <laughs> what did I do? Uh, I've definitely seen that. 
Well, that was my first time seeing it, I, and I, I liked it. I, I like animations, man. I don't know. Animations, really nice. I wish I knew how to animate, but I, I, yeah, I, I couldn't do that. No, yeah. Anyways, time to cat party and end things off. So thank you guys for the recommendations and obviously the fun time. I do enjoy these streams a lot. And I uh, hope you guys have fun with them as well. Um, but yeah. Uh, there was a time some of us thought the boom dis read. Oh my god, I can't even speak. Thought the boom designs weren't just a side thing. That was a little scary. All right, G. I send the request this a week. Wait, let let me end the stream first, Omega, <laughs> and then and then give me the recommendations. But I, I got you, I got you. But yeah. Well then. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, okay. And I'm waiting for this one Japanese special band you may have interest in too. Sounds good, Omega, sounds good. There's also, uh, I forgot to tell this, uh, my, my little my little disclaimer there's a small chance probably I, mean, I don't know how small it is but there's a chance i might not do a live stream next week there's a, there's a chance i'm just saying i have like a seven page essay due and i i need to start that sometime i don't know if i'm gonna have time in the week because i'm at school and stuff like that and i have work and other things but uh yeah so there's a, there's a chance that i might not do a live stream next week but we'll see we'll, we'll see we'll see how how that goes My request is from Posty. Sounds good, KR. But wait till they drop the new album soon. Sounds good, Omega. And one more thing. You're buying tickets for our last night tour on record next month. I have no idea, Omega. <laughs> I'm not going to cap. I, I probably, probably can't right now. Not right now, unfortunately. Maybe sometime. Maybe sometime in the near future. Or, or next time or something like that. But... Probably not this time. Okay. I don't know why I keep saying zero comments. Why does it say zero comments? But there's like... Okay. That's weird. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well then, that's all. Bye. Gotta go fast. Sounds good. Omega, I'll see you very, very soon. Probably for one of the, the video reactions. But that is all from me today, guys. And uh, I hope everybody had a fun time. Thank you, everybody, for the recommendations. Thank you, everybody, for just the fun time in general. And I hope everybody has a great rest of their day or night. And I'll see you guys very soon. And do let me know the requests that you guys have for this week if any and i'll try to do them i'll try it but anyways thank you guys everybody once again and uh yeah i'll see you sometime soon so i'm gonna do my 10 second countdown that i usually do now so <laughs> i'll see you everybody peace thank you everybody once again and uh, uh good good night for now we're just gonna say i guess i don't know <laughs> anyways 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 all right there we go. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye for now. See you.